Hello, welcome to Dice Legends. Glad that you could join us. We are a D&D &D channel, but we want to first set the scene. Hit us! It has been a thousand years since the first king of Aratai forged a mythical sword and united the warring tribes around him. But he was slain by his closest friend, known to history as the Betrayer. The Betrayer was condemned to a 300 year long death and the mythical sword disappeared from history. But now, four town guards have recovered the sword at a time when the forces of darkness, of undeath and savagery yet again threaten to destroy not only their city, but everything they hold dear. This is the story of the heroes of Aratai. I think what oh. we'd like to do oh. yes, is introduce you to these cool players that we've got with us. Starting with Raylene. Kia ora everyone, magandang hapon sa iyong lahat. My name is Raylene Rose Hilaga and I play Hakapella, who is a dwarf bard. Level 5, baby. Yeah! I'm trying to tell everybody all along your journey. You're trying to tell us all the time. You're trying to tell us all the time. You're trying Yeah! Uh, and I play uh, wonderful Lona. He's a uh, so sara. Level 5, too. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> G'day! <laughs> <laughs> and I play uh, Sully, the level 5 human fighter, and he's from a farm deep south. Um, that's right. Over to you! I don't even have a smile on I play a carrot tiefling cleric called Nimrod. We're the town gang! Yeah! Hi. So, <laughs> our heroes, to give a little bit more set, our heroes are currently not in the city. They've gone further south to convey to Sully's parents the grave news of the passing of his brother. Alas, an orc army is between them and his parents' farm. Mm. Hey, now, but before we get into the story and hear more, we're going to hear about our sponsor for today. Yes. Our, sponsor. our sponsor are the wonderful folks at BD and D. Yeah, B D and D. Yeah, love yeah. these guys. Yeah. They have sponsored us so many times before. We encourage you to head to their website, and you'll find on their shop, at their shop, on their shop, on in their shop, shop if, around their shop, yeah. through their shop, <laughs> oh, over their, their shop, <laughs> all of the D and D books, modules, manuals, goodies that you need to play and run the game. Yeah, yep. they even have twenty-two pages of dice in their website, on their website, at their website, around their through website. their website. This is where I got my chicken dice from, and they're pretty sick, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and also, if you've got uh, some figurines or some uh, uh, objects and things that you want to paint to bring your world to life. Life, then hit them up because they've got some awesome paints and they go really into detail as well. Mm. Oh, amazing. <laughs> you know why they've got Magic the Gathering cards and why would you want Magic the Gathering? Because there's a D&D set coming out. Yeah. Oh, really? Another one, for sure. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's all kinds of great, the intersection of two great hobbies. So you can get all your Magic the Gathering card <gasps> needs there yeah. as well. Boosters and singles. Oh. And while you're at it, you want a little board game. <laughs> They've got them. They <laughs> did <laughs> Yeah, so look, thanks. Uh, thanks for your D&D for sponsoring us. We love Thank you guys. You. You're great. You're really good. And we strongly encourage everyone who's watching this Bad. to head to their shop. We know that our moderators, especially Faye, has spent Shop Faye. Shop all Sean. of her money at Via D and D, and does not regret it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, studio. Hi, Faye. Hi, Faye. Hi, Faye. Hi, Faye. Hi, Faye. So Sean. Hi, Hi, Sean. Hi, Sean. We have our moderators live I mean, with us in I mean, studio who? today, so it's so nice to have them with us. Hi, I'm a big fan. Hey, you know what? I think it's time Yo. to roll the titles. And we're back. <laughs> and we're back. And we're back. And we're back. We're back. Hey, so we've set the scene. We've introduced the cast, yeah. but we don't know what happened last week. Yeah, I'm not oh, sure how much we know. Uh, but mm. who's the recapper? Who's got the worst memory here? What's Man. that? 
Oh, man. Oh, it? Is it you? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Wait, you wait, got wait, great wait, 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 don't play the music yet. <laughs> you ready for the countdown? <laughs> yeah. Count we're gonna count up to four. Tairu Toru Fa! Previously on Dice Legends, we found ourselves in the middle of the forest. We thought we were going one way towards Acapella, but she was taken another way. We realized that the sexy orc was lying to us. We tied her into a tree. <laughs> we went the other way. <laughs> Meanwhile, Acapella was led up onto the top of the hill in Isselman. 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 And then she was at the top in this tent thingy, and she was with a crown. Crown. <laughs> and this other creepy guy with a staff. And then she ended up doing charm person and escaping, <laughs> as well as two messy scorpions. Meanwhile, <laughs> The other rest of the crew were galloping to Isselman. <laughs> and they found their way there, they got on top of the rooftop. So we're like, what should we do? Should we chuck a chicken in the air and light on fire? <laughs> no, terrible idea. <laughs> Meanwhile, Acapella ended up escaping. Oh. She escaped on a mule. And then she <laughs> went all the way. She, she went and hit in the basket. And then she found these muzzle tops. Oh. <laughs> then we lit these, um, we lit those things on fire. That catapult. The catapult. Yes. Set the catapult on fire one at yes. a time. And then Acapella fell for us and she lit everyone else on fire. And then we escaped through the river in a boat. <laughs> oh, come on! Mom. Come on, Mon! Yeah, Mon! Mon! Come on! Come on! Oh, on. I couldn't do it better. No, 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 no I couldn't. Even beautiful. That, that, oh, come on, oh, my gosh! The crowd, no way! Oh, the, the, yes, you do. Oh, Final yeah. <laughs> Rise, yo, queen of recast. <laughs> That's incredible. That was hey, what good. else did we miss? What did we miss? Nothing. Oh, that was no. good. You yeah. recap just three caps with three and a half hours worth of content. Title Queen. In 90 seconds. <laughs> Stress you. Go, go. Oh That's good. That was good. <laughs> that was, that that was beautiful. Was, that was gorgeous. That was a beautiful Ooh. thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was, that was incredible. Nice. Hey, so. I'm ready now. <sighs> I don't think there is actually anything else that we need to mention. There was some one small detail, <laughs> which is something that you would not mention in a recap, so don't feel bad about this. <laughs> You've just jumped in some boats, yeah. and as you remember, uh, not as you remember, you may recall <laughs> that your horses were made from with things like your clothes and your food and stuff are with the horses. Somewhere. Somewhere. On a hill, yeah, they're, they're beyond. Oh, they're not with you. They're, the horses are not in the boat with you right okay. now. So they don't have our gold. You have on you whatever you think you would reasonably carry into Islamon to rescue Raylene. If Everything. You want. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I got my thing. things. I got yeah. it from the saddle on the mule, so. Yeah. <laughs> you got yours. You so, Brilliant. But you know what we're going to do to begin with? Yes. What? We're actually going to start with a cutscene. Ooh! Oh. A cutscene? Bring it. A cutscene. And I wish we had some orcish music to play underneath the cutscene. <gasps> Meanwhile, in the city of Isselman, an orcish shaman stands up, approaches Krush, this huge muscle bound orc leader. And the shaman says to Krush, my liege, overlord, why did you let them escape? Krush turns to his shaman and says, Are you doubting me, old friend? The shaman replies to Krush, Of course not, overlord. I merely wish to know your thinking. And Krush says, I want that dwarf. There's something special about her. The overlord, Sorry, the shaman says to the uh, says to Krush, I warned you of her. Krush says, Yes, you told me she had a beguiling tongue, but I didn't understand how powerful that is. She could be a great ally for us. The shaman says, I do not think she will become an ally easily. Krush replies to the shaman. You must make it so. Krush, who's badly burnt, has a crossbow bolt sticking in his shoulder, goes, pulls the crossbow bolt out, throws it on the ground, and starts walking away from the shaman, who thinks for a while and then has like a, 
a light of kind of an idea, bing, uh, goes in his eyes. Meanwhile, on the lake. Oh. What the hell is that supposed to mean? On the lake, <laughs> the four of you are in the boat. You're in the boat. Should we, should we get Is this the boat? Uh, no, 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 no. no, no, no. Okay. Don't go, Jason, don't go to the um, action scene. Ooh. You're in a boat. Okay. In the boat. In the boat. In the boat. Oh, the where's boat. Boat. Shall we count down into it? Oh, yeah. All right. Three, two, two one. One. <gasps> oh. I'm <Are> seasick. <laughs> it's all right. Oh. <clears throat> Hold steady. All speed if you need to. The Hakabella just <laughs> off to the side the, of the boat. Just <laughs> yeah. Hold it here back. <laughs> Thanks for saving me. Are <laughs> <laughs> you alright, Hakabella? <laughs> I just don't like the water very much. <laughs> me neither. I had to swim. Don't you take a ferry to go home? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's not pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> Every day? Every day. <laughs> Every day? You, you, oh my god. Now, why do you think I got so skinny? <laughs> I thought you would have had your seed legs by now. <laughs> um, so where are we going? Uh, down this river. Um, hey, look, we've still got all of our stuff on our horses. Uh, where did we leave them? On that hill. Can we boat to the hill? No. <laughs> we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to sail we're far enough down this river until we think we've lost them. I think we're going to be travelling faster than that team of orcs, but we're going to have to move quickly if we want to be able to go from wherever we port to the hill and then get out on our horses. Okay, so I, we, we want to get away from them. We don't want to go back and get our stuff. What do we need? What do we need? Do y'all need to heal? Well, we only we have a few to. little bits of ointment left anyway. Yes. Um, what else do we have in there? Look, I'm the, actually not clear on what I'm getting. The DM just said that our stuff's on the horse. <laughs> so look, I don't mind if you you can leave the horses oh. and just and just row mm. and just acknowledge that the bulk of your possessions are gone. Or you can row to the side, to the shore, and try to find your horses and get out. So I'm just saying that. But I want everyone to first make. While you're considering this, I want everyone to make a perception roll. <laughs> All right. Six. Natural 20. Oh! Right off the bat! That's uh, yummy, girl. Five. Um, great, and mine is a 12. Raylene. Yes. So, Hakapella, facing backwards in the boat, whew, oh. as, as you're being pulled away from the, the city, up on one of the flat roofs, you know, Behind the flames that are licking up the um, trebuchet, I right? All smiles, knowing that she helped with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see a a lantern being held up, so, and it's illuminating someone. And and then you hear. Actually, leave the music off for a second. And then you hear very faintly on the wind. Oh. oh, 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 oh. Is that your oh, 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 and slowly, shutters open, and you see candles or lanterns from houses all around, and these voices. Oh, 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 oh y'all hear that? Oh, and be, be soon, all of you can hear the town, people start coming onto the rooftops holding up candles and lanterns. Oh, 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 oh. That sounds familiar. They're gonna die. Oh. Oh. What? Oh. How do you figure? Oh. Oh, well, they're all one. out in the open. But there must be a reason why they're out in the open. Did the orcs retreat? This is a, a song that your friend wrote. Why aren't we singing along? Where's your friend who plays the accordion? Accordion. Oh, what does he play? He plays the guitar or the lyre. That's the one. Yeah. Warren. 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 I liked him. Uh, oh, I try and peek a little bit. Is that Warren? I. I. You don't know. It does. It's actually you got a natural twenty. It is not Warren. It's definitely not. Oh. It's someone well, who not is him. much bulkier in build. No, this guy's a big boy. Warren. Warren's not a big boy. I think they're, I think they're all singing his. Song, right? He wrote that. Does that mean is, that he's? Does that mean that they're all free? Or, are the orcs re retreating, or are they banding together to uh, overthrow them? I, yeah. 
Possibly. Maybe it's safe to go on land. For I think that's a big assumption. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I just wanna wanna check it out though. Mm. Plus, you got your stuff on the horses, and um, I've got everything. I mean, we don't have to. I've got everything I need. But mm. uh, I don't know about you guys. <laughs> I left my elvish journal behind and my elvish dictionary. Ah, oh, nuts. <laughs> oh, nuts. <laughs> well, we're going to need those. And also, if we want to travel south, we're going to need to going to need horses. Otherwise, <sighs> oh yeah. Otherwise, you're actually going upstream. Oh. You're, we're you're going back to our time at this point. Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's let uh, or back to the horses. horses. We need to make sure we're out of sight of the orcs first. Yep. Yeah. Should we in the boat? <laughs> They'll still see the boat moving. Oh yeah. Uh, <clears throat> well, we could just keep rowing for a little bit and see. And see. Yeah, yeah. Or well, we can always overturn the boat and then we can go under the boat. Again, <laughs> there will uh, still be a moving boat. But it's upside down. Wait. Yeah. Which is less suspicious because you can't be. And we can hold the arrows. That's right. In the boat. Look, we'll keep it as a defensive option, mm. just in case we get pelted by a volley of arrows. Oh. All right, yes, sir. <laughs> okay, for now. Great idea. We, okay, we... next scene. Mm -hmm. <laughs> scene change. We see the boat some distance away from the city of Isselman <laughs> come up on the shore. Yeah? Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's what we wanted. Yeah. Okay, you're on the shore. <laughs> it is this part of the lake has nesting cranes oh. um, that in trees that are on the lakeside. <clears throat> so there's enough cover between the trees and the lapping water um, concealing the sound that you're easily able to get onto the shore. Mm. You don't see any sign of orcs around. Acapella jumps out of the boat immediately and just hugs the land. <laughs> Beautiful sand. Beautiful. <laughs> Don't eat it. All right. <laughs> okay, what way to our horses? Um, just find the hill. Okay. You know, yeah, it's not that difficult. All right. <laughs> that one. Oh, there it is. Uh, right, there. Uh, right there. We walk to the hill. Okay. Um, a trek of 45 minutes or so to keeping Isselman to your left as you go up into the dry land, to the hillside. Isselman, the fires of the tribuches have been extinguished. People have clearly gotten back into their homes. All is quiet and you find your horses. I'm I'm almost suspicious of how quiet it is. Mm. The fact that we haven't ran into any orcs? Yeah. Yeah. There was a lot chasing us. I thought this would go differently. But let's stay on track. Let's get on our horses and go find your parents, Ellie. Yeah. Yeah. You're still a young child. In oh, balance. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And not to mention my parents could be in danger. Oh, yes. That's, that's right. true. Yeah. Yep, let's go for them. Yeah. Your dad is a very unstable sorcerer. Yes, he is. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's nice to be able to say it though. My dad's a sorcerer. Yeah. An unstable <gasps> sorcerer. Yeah. <laughs> an unstable sorcerer. My dad is an unstable sorcerer. It's Joe. all right. Oh, We've got one as well here. <laughs> 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 which, which, is a, which is a lot coming from you. Do you think that we should try and pick up some lead on our way through Isselman? If we can find any. Mm. I'm not sure. Hmm. We're not going to be traveling through this little man. Oh, we no, you're leaving. You're we're leaving. We're out of here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Heading south. Let's go south. So, pointing on the handy dandy map, which is now behind us. Yes. Isselman is here. Yeah. Next to the lake. So you have to travel along the lake oh. shore for a while mm -hmm. until you get all the way down here to Dolagan, mm -hmm. which is the town that Sully is from. It's a couple of days journey. Oh, thank gosh. I thought we were having to go all the way to Muntia. No. Okay. <laughs> Dolligan. 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 The, the journey, the next part of the journey is a bit of a traveling montage. Hmm. 
going south. I don't know if you're planning on resting during the night or anything like that. Yes. 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 Okay, long rest. Go ahead. Go yeah. for it because nothing happens in the night, which yeah. in itself, as you pointed out, is a little bit weird. Weird. Suspicious. It's a bit sus. Very weird. Sus Very sus. Sus brew. But the moral of the story is absolutely no orcs seem to be pursuing you. What the heck? Hmm. I thought we would see one by now. Maybe they did overthrow the city. Something must be going on in this one. People could be taking their town back. Oh, good on them. Mm. Maybe we should check on the way back. Yes, it won't come without a cost. Mm. Mm. All right, well, shall we? How, how far till Dooligan? It is... One and a half days. One and a half days, in well, my estimate. Mm. All right. Um, since I don't have a horse, I'm just... The, today, I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna be in the back of, uh... Lorna's horse. Did you forget his name? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was just thinking about it. Do I, do I have a say about the minute? <laughs> no, you don't. I've missed you, buddy. Yeah. All right, don't. <sighs> hey, I understand now why you like all that fire, man. Okay, at least go home. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a long ride. To home. your home. Let's go. The... You set out in the morning, hugging the, the lake. And there are, um, as the day progresses, people that are fishing on the lake. You know, the boats come on. They're actually out before you guys are up. And close to the shore, a small dinghy mm -hmm. comes past, um, is near you. And Lona, it reminds you of a time <laughs> which you had previously completely blocked from your mind of you and your friend, a child slightly older than you, mm. rowing in a dinghy. Flashback! <laughs> Flashback! Woo! Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. oh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Thank you. Okay, all right, all right. I need to think of a character. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna just, I need a character voice. I don't you think you can do that, Trudy? I think I can do that. So, it is nighttime. What the heck? Lona. <laughs> Lona. You, who, do you know what? We actually have proper figures, minis, coming for the young Lona. Yo! But unfortunately, Alex, our minis and terrain guy, got COVID. Sick. Double, co he's had COVID twice. Oh. Double COVID. He's had double COVID. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> double COVID. Yeah, so wow. he has, he wasn't able to send them. Oh, okay, oh, so. Sean Alex. All good. Oh, this is Alex. you. For now. There's a cute little bug. <laughs> <laughs> and this it's is the bug. um this is the young the, the child who's a little bit older than you. Oh. Yeah. Raylene. No, 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 no. What's your name, Monique? <laughs> Monique. No, no, I'm, I, I, oh, I called you Raylene. Sorry. I mean my Nimrat. character's name. Monique. Your character's name's Monique. <laughs> yep. You can be hidden oh, behind I'm in the girl. You can be hidden behind these. Um, crates. Conspicuous rocks. Con they're not actually rocks, they're crates. Crates. Mm -hmm. Conspicuous Or you crates. can be in the alleyway or you can be hiding with these things. So uh, you can decide where you want to be. Or if you want to be on top of the house, houses, we can put roofs on top. Oh. Where do you want to be? I'd like to be on top of the house. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> just on top of the crate would be fine actually. Okay. Oh. Great. Thank you. <laughs> You're hiding <laughs> on top. <laughs> Well, She's so good. Uh, She's so good. Truby. Yes. Swaying to the. Oh, the swaying yes. to the. Yes. The the movement of the waves. The yawing of the of the boat, and it's definitely the water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. I don't know who I am. The 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 boy that's only a couple years older than you <laughs> says, "Okay, Lona." You know what we're doing, right? Mm -hmm. Just remind me. Tell me again. Tell All me again. Right. All right. We're going to head onto the boat. Yeah. We're going to somehow create a distraction. I'll do the distraction. And then I'll go after the orange waxed 
seal. The orange sealed. Wax seal from orange wax seal jar. jar. Clay jar. Okay, clay jar, <laughs> orange wax seal. I'm distraction. Yeah. The moment I get the attention, I know that the sailor, he's a famous drunk. It's, this is easy. Okay. This jar is worth a lot of money. Okay. We need this. Look at this. And, and don't forget, our friend, Young Faith, is, we got, is, she's on lookout for us? Shelly. Shelly? Shelly is on Shelley. lookout for us? Shelly's on the lookout? Shelly's on lookout. Okay. <sighs> she's gonna, she's gonna get everyone noticing us. Okay. No, no, Shelly's good, she's okay. good, she's good. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay? We got this. Okay. Okay. We got this. The boat like comes up to the dock. He says, give me like a minute. Okay? He climbs a, on the thing and walks over here. And says, oh, hello. Hey. Oh, hey. Hey, you in the ship. Uh, hi, little child. How are you? I'm 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 really well. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Well, that's so nice. It is <laughs> such a beautiful night. It really is. Beautiful night. <laughs> so what are you doing? I'm just on a, a boat, and, um, and my captain, he's just uh, somewhere. He's just buying some. Um, Oh, I can't remember. But um, he's uh, he's just out in the he's just out on the in the wharf and his bind prints. And you're a little child. Hello. Hello. I have been um, I've been. <coughs> <coughs> and then Luna somersaults onto the onto onto the wharf, somersaults off that, and then tries and makes his way towards the uh, the boat. Okay, okay. Acrobatics. acrobatics. You've got to be a nickel in your throat. <laughs> oh, sorry. Ten plus what? Fourteen. 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 Okay, move yourself four and squares. One, two, three, four. Okay. Do you know what's good for that? I've got a seawater. Um, he said, yeah, okay, yeah. Just, yeah. just lodges the mucus. So, um, here. Come, come, come here, come here. Come, come down the gangplank. He, he says, actually, I... I was told to give you this. And holds up a, a green glass bottle with some liquid in it. A green... Hold on a minute. Boom! And he uncorks <laughs> his own bottle. What's that? A uh, port. But, nah, see what's that? Not, not what you're standing on. <laughs> <laughs> that's a funny one. Ah, that's funny, eh? Yeah. We, we, we say that one on the boat. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's only half full. Here you go, catch. Oh, heck. And he, <laughs> he throws it so that it lands. <laughs> just oh there. Oh. And starts bobbing in the water in front of you. Oh, you dumb idiot. You threw it in the water. <laughs> it's, oh, it's still floating. Hey, just you got to think I'm a good swimmer, eh? And he's like, okay, hold on, little child, I'll get you your bottle. Uh, okay, oh. perception roll at disadvantage. <laughs> okay. And and Shelly, can you hit me with a perception roll, please? Yes. At advantage, because you were. <laughs> D12. Hey, it's looking pretty good actually. Fifteen. Oh, 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 oh. Fifteen. Oh, do I add self to it? No, I no, no. <laughs> Yeah, if you don't have, if it's not mentioned in your skills on your yeah. little, then mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. don't have the skill and it's just a zero. Okay, what'd you get? Fifteen. Okay, awesome. You come to this, you look at the thing. Lona, what are you doing? Lona, can Lona see the sealed waxed? Perception roll. Oh, okay, okay. Seventeen. Seventeen. Seventeen, okay. Nice. Casting your glance around, yep. you cannot see it. There is, though, right mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. There's some steps going down below. This is clearly a two level boat. Yeah. Lorna's gonna try and okay. make his way there. Start start moving. Okay. Okay, you get right there. And you are and Drunken sailor? Yeah. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? Um whatever I want. <laughs> um and you are aware of the gangplank behind you um, going kathunk unevenly as some movement weight is brought off of it. He looks at this child and he's like, did you do that? 
<laughs> oh, sorry, I did. How? Well, it was rather complicated. It all started this morning. He I looks won't... over. Wait a minute. Who are you? You're not the captain. Am I help? Lorna, can Lorna grab something? And just a moment, you will be... And Kaka is right, because at the very edge, you probably can't even see it in the frame, dear audience. I love how in old books, they talk to the audience, the reader is dear reader or dear audience, or dear audience. Just on the edge of frame, I should put it here so you can see what she looks like. Oh, you. The oh. captain of the ship. Oh, 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 oh. Is, Captain Sam's here. Could, uh -oh. could I be an older man, if that's possible? You can be an older man. Yes. How about our? How about this guy? Yeah, right. Oh, yes, let's go. Okay, Captain. Okay. Because you, also you said uh, he him for a man. I did. Shelly, Shelly, caw 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 caw. You see the captain starting to come. Crap! It's me, Shelly. Oh, I've grown up with Lorna, so I sound like him. <laughs> I think Lon's gonna need my help. Yeah. So Shelly, she dives off into the water. Sploosh. And she swims over to the boat. Okay, and gets up on the boat. Yeah. Alright, that's she, your turn. Yeah. You're just moving this turn, <laughs> Captain. <laughs> Lorna. You little ragamuffin, I see you. Lorna sees him and goes, and Lorna goes, Hey, Alfie, buddy! It's me. Hey. Bob. <laughs> Yeah, had a bit too much to drink, did ya? Yes. <laughs> Why, well, hold on. I don't know that I know you. Ah, uh, yes you do. We used to go to school together. I'm in, a, I'm in a school with you. Yeah. You're like seven and I'm <laughs> 63. You, how much have you had to drink, buddy? I'm... There's a little splash sound know. behind you. Um, <laughs> there's a little splash sound behind you. Uh, who made that splash noise? Fish. Look, look, look. I, Bob, I don't know if I do know you, but I do know there's something precious in that um, the, the underground, over, underboat. Over there? Uh, yeah, yeah, and I, I look, I need uh, you to come away from there, buddy. Yeah, that's it. Uh, 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 meanwhile. Listen here. Okay, meanwhile. Yeah, be your friend. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Shelly. Um, Shirley flattens herself inside the boat and she, the boat goes underneath the bridge. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay, yep, yep, go for it. Wow. Nice. Oh, I broke her. No! no. She, did. she just didn't want to be Don't worry about it, I can repair her. No okay. problem, it doesn't matter. Well, that, she fits under there now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She comes to, Oh, you're going all the way underneath. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so you, so, okay right, right. But right. I stay right at the edge, so right, I'm right, so no one can see me. So if you, you probably can't see from the camera angle, but Shelly is now here. Yeah, yeah. She's That's still great. headed. That's great. I love yeah. it. Captain, you can see that um, your shipmate is having some kind of altercation with a child on the boat. <laughs> it's per usual. <laughs> My name's Oberon. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oberon, is that you, duh? Okay. Oh, what are you doing oh, with the God. child the there? Captain's here. Just is that your son? No, no, just shut up for a second. Is your son here to visit? Uh, it's a boy. Uh, but it's my yeah, it's my son. Oh, I've never met your son before. I'm gonna come yeah. over to do. Yeah, like, hey, Lorna kicks um, uh, Oberon. Oberon right in the gonads oh. and then push and tries to push him off the boat. Okay, sneak attack! Okay. <laughs> oh, you guys. Are. Four. Sneak attack. Uh, Add advantage. Advantage. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Fifteen! Better! Fifteen! Okay, yep. Shoot yep. food! Oh! Oh, I'm a little... Oh, you little... Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to cover for you for some reason. <laughs> Ow, oh, we've got a bottle! <laughs> oh, bro, your child is very, very... Our child is not my child, he's a little punk! Come kill him! <laughs> oh, oh, okay. uh. You get pushed in the back, you need to make a... a you make a a uh, a strength saving throw at uh, a deck saving throw at disadvantage. A deck saving throw. Oh, that's one of them. Sixteen. 
Oh, four. Because <laughs> sploosh. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm a great nothing! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so he finds the bottle floating in the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Um, can she make a perception on whether this guy has any weapons on him as uh, he fell into the water? Do you think he... Um, he'll have like a little knife. Nah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and a ladle. No, <laughs> she whispers to the drunk. Psst. Oh my, where are you children coming from? <laughs> I'll help you up, just give me the bottle. I'll oh, give you the... Okay. Give me the bottle. Okay, here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wow, what a violent child. <laughs> what the? Oh, oh, you little punk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Shelly has a broken bottle like a. What is it? Like a shank thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this that, turned dark. That's her action. <laughs> <laughs> um, ow! Does it just work? Do I get to well, jump? Make, make, a, make a roll. Sure. Just one. Sixteen. Oh. You get stabbed. Oh, my, my shoulder! <laughs> a that deep... was my drinking shoulder! <laughs> and then she pulls Meanwhile, out the holiday though. Oh, hey. Okay. <laughs> what, so, um, you, can't, uh, you can't help but notice this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what are you, what are you doing? Like, Hey, get away from that boat! And he run, I run! I run! One, one two, two, three, three four, four, five. five. Six. Six. Uh, eight, eight. Oh, far out. I don't make it. I double dash. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm right there. And I draw, as a bonus action, I draw out my short sword. I say, here, Sonny, you best get away from my ship, my lady. Okay, great. Beautiful. And I'm going to persuade him as well. You're going to try to do As I'm talking to you, I'm just like, you better get away if you know what's best for you, little boy. Okay. Quiet. Quiet as the night itself from behind you. Bah, anchor. Oh. <laughs> back, of the, back of the head. He picks up the anchor? <laughs> the anchors aren't always those big, big massive. This is a small one, too, eh? Small. Most anchors are not that. Yeah, yeah. Small. <laughs> All oh, right. Sweet. Okay, go on. You get smacked in the back of the noggin. Oh, oh, God. You take three hit points. Three and hit points. And he says, and the small child says, Lona, go. And then, phew, Lona. Lona, what you doing? I'm diving straight into into here. Does Lona can Lona see that um, there was nothing on the old fella, on the if captain? You want to take your time looking to see nope, if it was on. No, nope, I'm just going to dive straight okay, in there. That'll probably just, be a disengage unless you want the old fella to be able to do an opportunity attack, which might be grabbing you. I'm still going for it. I'm still, still going for yeah, it? I'm going okay. to rely on this athleticism. Okay, you can have an opportunity attack if you want. Okay. What are you doing? I am going to get my hand and just grab him by the, the scruff of the neck. 17! Oh, oh, you are oh, grabbed. Oh, oh. Here you go, sonny boy. Oh. You best be staying away from my fire. Please. They call me Merlin. Perception <laughs> roll, please, Lona. Ooh. Six. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no no part. <laughs> oh, I'm real angry and drunk, man. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls it down from the boat. Ha! Okay, the boat has continued to come through. Ha! Oh, no. Where are your uh -oh. parents? Why, uh, you are my dad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no! Wait, hold on! No. Hold on, that's what that other little punk said to me. You're not, you're not getting me. And he pulls out the ladle. <laughs> well, man, yeah. yeah. Now, this is a discipline you should have had. <laughs> 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 I can't hear that voice. You're going to try to put I'm going to bonk her, mate. <laughs> I'll roll for it, mate. <laughs> wow. I've got proficiency with ladles. Um, Are you joking? 17? <laughs> 17. <laughs> Take one hit point damage. Bonk. Bonk. Oh, no. oh, no. Shelly? <laughs> Shelly, you, the boat is come a, is Yeah, what you doing, Shelly? Oh, this is going to sound a little bit lethal, but she goes straight for the... What's that, you know, right at the ed edge of the heel? You know, like Achilles? the... Uh, Achilles? 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 Oh. is her glass bottle and she whips around, she slices his Achilles heel. Achilles. Sorry, that's Achilles rude. tender. So, this is gross, like, She did have a bit of a hard upbringing, I think. Oh, it's a three, so she didn't go through with what it. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? She's got she tough boots on. She's got boots. She's like, closing her eyes, and she's like, 
She wants to help, but she, she can't actually see. Um, <laughs> the the child behind behind you, mm. Captain, uh, comes around Ooh. and just tries to use the anchor to <laughs> dislodge the captain's hand from your Ooh. neck. Ooh. And does and does hit your hand. Oh, oh, you little boys and your anchors. No, you makes captain? you anchory. <laughs> what are you doing, Captain? Stay away from my fire beetles, and I get my short sword. And oh. I go, this is too precious to me, and it just swings bloodly. Oh. Oh. I will for protect my fire beetles at any cost, and I go for the not. Not this boy, the other boy. The older boy. The older boy, because he looks more lethal. And, I go, and he's got a big anchor in his hand. Yeah, but Short sword. Plus three to hit. 13 plus three. Six. Ow! Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was just not supposed to go this way. <laughs> oh. Okay, roll damage. Oh, it is a 1d6 damage. Get it, get okay. I'm not Ow. trying to kill him. I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna wound him mortally. <laughs> you can hit him, choose to hit him with the flat of the sword if yeah, you want. Yeah, I'll go to the flat of the sword. Let's I don't even be known as a child murderer. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. No, don't. okay, you hit you hit you hit this this boy who looks about eleven with the flat nice. blade. <laughs> Get off wow. my Not ship! <laughs> like Lorna gives this old girl like a like a real like how dare you hit my friend like that and just Lorna just wants to go Cause is he like right in front of his can I go, what the? Like straight yes. into his, um, you know, yeah, his going. Yeah, yeah. This, is a, yeah. this is a full grown man that you're trying to. Yeah, because I did, I did, don't my friend. Go back. 14. Ooh, okay. The punk. What the? Like Rafiki style. Like, what the? Nice. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, I could That's... never have children again. <laughs> <laughs> Take one more t- hit point oh, off. Oh, one more. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Four. Yeah, you doing anything else, buddy? Um, and then Lorna's gonna, can, can I move? Yep. Yep, sweet, and then I'm gonna straight into the cabin. You can Invest try it. an opportunity attack if you wish to try to grab him again. Oh yes, I will go for an opportunity attack. <laughs> okay! <laughs> I'm gonna try and grab him, I don't want you touching my beetroot. Okay. Uh, 14! Oh. Ah. Oh. 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 Lorna, yeah. reception yep. roll please. <laughs> Two. Oh my <laughs> goodness. I cover his eyes too! <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, thank you. Um, uh, you're probably psychotic for a kid. <laughs> um, and um, he, he jumps up and tries to grab the, um, the boat so he can start like leveraging himself on the ship. Yep. Great. Oh, yeah. oh. That's alright, Captain. I'm <laughs> good, 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 good. Here. <laughs> and then um, he's got he's got an empty bottle and he does a half sit at um, one of the kids. Oh, the only one, the one that you can see is the older one. Yeah, the one uh, that that was that told you. I'm gonna knock him out, Captain. Oh, bro, I get him. Sex. Oh, bro, you <laughs> useless boy. <laughs> Goes off. <laughs> 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 useless, useless man. Shelly. Protect the fire oh, beetles. Shelly's not really useless. She's freaking out. She's only supposed to be the lookout on this. <laughs> <laughs> she knows that she's um, pretty skilled in deception. She jumps on the boat and she immediately looks at the old drunkard in his eyes and she hugs him. And oh. she looks at him and she goes, Oh. Dad, it's. Actually, me, it's Shelly. My <laughs> mum's name was Meryl. And she had me when, about 11 years ago, when you went into that tavern. It's me, and I love you, and I am only psychotic because I didn't have you growing up. <laughs> with, with your father. And I only wish right now that you would be there for me and help me get my friends out of trouble. And that captain, he killed my mother. He killed Maureen. What a hell. Meryl. 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 I had no idea. I thought he was a stroking. No, he are. I actually not. Meryl I was the most beautiful woman I, I ever know. knew. She actually looked exactly like you. But <laughs> what what you did she look like me? <laughs> Yeah, oh, I remember. Yeah, that's right. That's why I love you. I love you, Dad. Come on, we're together. We can fight this, and we can take down the captain. Okay, cat, I know the captain's weakness. What is it? Well, I'll tell you next round. <laughs> <laughs> Time just stopped for a moment while you guys had this really in-depth reunion. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! 
She's trying to kill me. <laughs> what the? Oh my god. Uh, that was a that was a beautiful scene. <laughs> the, the older the older boy. Um, he tries to wrap the the anchor cord around the um, around this guy's waist. Yep. And throw good the idea, anchor idea. overboard. Oh! Ooh, oh holy crap! Oh that's my. a good one. That's a good one. Oh. That's a good one. And he succeeds. That was such I'm holding on to You're holding on. No, no, no. Okay. Oh. He, has oh. to make, he has to make a strength saving throw. He has okay. to make a strength saving throw okay. or he lets go of you. Okay. Nine. He oh. lets go. He lets go oh, and is dragged over to the th- to the edge of the boat, and his back hits the edge of the the railing of the boat. The anchor has gone over, and he's got the rope around him. Okay, L- that's him. Lorna looks over to his friend and goes, "I owe you for that one." Wait, so I'm the one who's stuck by? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh sorry, honey, you needed to make this. You should have made the strength roll. I'm sorry. Oh, strength roll. Oh, we do it. Thank okay. You. Yeah. A five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so used to playing all the NPCs. I'm sorry, Rayleigh, I'm Rayleigh, the Rayleigh, NPC Rayleigh now. you are the NPC. <laughs> oh, all right, boys, listen to me. I know what you want, what? and I can give you something even more pricier if you would like. Well, listen. Down there, there's a jar of fire beetles, right? And I know you want the orange wax sealed jar. Uh, don't you? It's very tempting. I've walked around the city with it, but I want to. I want to let you know there's something more valuable in there, and I, I'm gonna. I'll offer you. Please don't take the five beetles. I'll, I'll give you five gold pieces. Please, please, boys. Just don't hurt Oberon anymore. Look at the poor thing. And well, I look over at the Oberon. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> please, boys. Five gold pieces and leave my fire beetles alone. Nah. You know what fire beetles do you? No, nah, we don't. Um, but it's right. We won't attack you anymore, old man. Oh, but we will take everything that's on this ship. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. So, wait, wait. Try- <laughs> Let's go. I will tell your mother. I'm trying to persuade him. I will tell your mother. <laughs> I've got, I've got professionally handled. <laughs> 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 So Lorna, what are you doing? I'm uh, uh, actually. So it, did he just fall out? And he's no, in no, the, no, against I'm the rail. <laughs> he's against the rail. Oh. Sweet. All right. And then Lorna just lets go of his hand, and then just uh, yeah. I'm just gonna walk down. I'm gonna take the five Wait. needles and that sealed orange. The the, this, the clay clay thing orange is sealed. The fire. Is the fire beetles? They're inside a a clay jar yep. that has red wax as a seal. Oh, red wax. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry, orange. Orange. Yeah. It was orange. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. So Lorna you goes go down. Good job, please. Yeah. You don't need to roll. Sweet. You go down. <laughs> And you can see that there are there's a selection of like valuable things, and one of them is a clay jar. Nice. Yep. And Lorna looks around. No, take any it. Any other, any other valuables? Around? Nothing. No, Nothing. don't take it. So Lorna just. Don't take it. No. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> do it first do it. You can't see inside it because mm. it's a clay jar. Yeah. So don't do it. It's dark brown, it's got this orange Leave wax, clo- call it, you know, keeping it sealed. The fire beetles are in the other one! <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it, but it's in the other one, it's in the green clay jar! And then Luna walks outside and goes, like, what's, what's meanwhile, fire I beetles? I see what these guys are doing first. Okay, meanwhile, Oberon, I'm um, Shelly. What's sweetness? Okay. He, the reason why he has a big hat is because he's really embarrassed about his haircut. Really? It will it paralyzes him with crippling anxiety. <laughs> oh, oh. If he just get his hat off. Yeah. Almost feel bad. I yeah. don't feel bad. Okay. Look, I don't know how things are gonna go down on this ship. I want you to have this. It was Meryl's. What is that? It's a comb. Oh. <laughs> I, I'd never thought I'd ever see you because I didn't know you existed. <laughs> but he, it, your mirror will want you to have it. Dad, I've got to give you something too. Oh. This was also Meryl's. <laughs> you can't stand me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said, but I'm thinking about it. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's a knife. <laughs> Stab 
the rock. You are the off. most violent oh my child God. in history. <laughs> you no. even called it. <laughs> is it I? Oh. No, you can't. You don't <laughs> even even. Oh even. my gosh. <laughs> Where did we oh, find this girl? Hey, oh my God. The the boat has been drifting away. Lona, what you doing? You got the you got the. Yeah, what Lona's just like, like looking suspiciously at the. Um, hey, old fella, can you tell me what's 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 fire fire beetles? We don't have time, Lona. <laughs> don't put, put that let's down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Right. It's not the fire beetles. Don't do it. Come on, Lona! I'm persuading yep. you, don't do it! <laughs> Lona then, yep, runs no. and he's gonna try and flip into the boat with the well, giant head. Um, the, the, the big child, <laughs> the big child, <laughs> the older child jumps into the water and starts swimming towards the boat. How far is the boat from this, from this boat? You're here. Yep. Well, what, those squares are each five feet. So one, two, three, four, five, about 30 feet. Yeah, so you could get, you could get into the water, but not into the boat. Okay, sweet. Okay, sweet. One. I suggest you actually two, go into, and if into the water. <laughs> and you go into the water. As he dives in, uh, you'll regret this, you boy. <laughs> I'm not very good with my vicious mockery here. <laughs> you'll regret this. No, curse you kids and your psychotic ch uh, friend, Shelly. <laughs> Shelly's still on the boat, eh? <laughs> Dad. I've got to go. Oh no. But you can be the captain. I believe in you. Nah. I've got something to say. Oh. You're not actually my dad. I'm your dad. <laughs> <laughs> I came from the future to, to warn you that you're going to be the captain of the ship if you just believe in yourself. Take his hat. <laughs> Take it, dad. I mean, son. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. oh, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the captain now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Splash! And the, the three of you get onto the boat and get into the into the water. I love you, oh, Dan. Just, <laughs> Oh Stay no, you silly goose! That's a lion hair. <laughs> no, don't look at me! Now, and we leave Oberon and the captain for a moment. The three of you on the boat. And, um... The psychological warfare you've won. <laughs> uh, the... The older boy helps you, Shelly, onto the boat. Oh. You're there first. That was good. Good work, Shona. Uh, Shelly. <laughs> Shona. <laughs> Best friends for life. For life. And pulls you onto the boat. <laughs> <laughs> and the final thing he says, as you, as you guys roll away, he says, with this, the money we can get for this, we can start an empire. Best friends for life. <laughs> and our scene changes. <laughs> and we're back to daylight. And you're on the horse, and there's a, a different dinghy with different people in it, fishing safely <laughs> without broken bottles mm. <laughs> or... And Lorna's just like staring. I said, are you hungry? <laughs> is it? Yeah. Are you right, Lorna? Right. I oh. think he is. Oh my gosh, you look like you're gonna faint. <laughs> yeah. Here's a loaf of bread. And then Lorna's just like looking at the bread and then he's just the flashing of uh, the memory of his friend comes into hand and kind of looks around at his companions as... Hmm. Where do you keep going? Are you right? Is this a sorcerer thing? <gasps> do you need some lead? Lo oh gosh! I'm lead, all right lead. guys, I'm all right. I just... I'm really grateful to have you guys as friends, that's all. That's nice, Lorna. Oh, yes. you're all mushy, aren't you? Yeah, that was, yeah. I that missed nice. you too, Lorna. You okay, can stop just get, say Okay, it. stop, stop getting weird with me now. It was just, it was just a moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm grateful you're here too, Lorna. Thank you. Right, let's get the horses. Yeah, yeah let's go. Wrong. You're on the horses. It's the next morning. You've, got, you've done a full, a long rest. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's the morning you're... Okay. you're Nemron, you look like you're about to <laughs> fight. Are you all right? I'm good. We're heading to Dilligan. <laughs> We're almost there. Oh, yeah. Yes. I'm going to Dilligan. <laughs> Spelled D O L A G E N. 
Dolagen. 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 But it's pronounced quickly. Dolagen. 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 All right. Dolagen. Dolagen. We go to the city. I just want to see if there's anything that you wanted to do. You'd mentioned something ah. over the week. Is there anything you want to do while you're traveling to Dolagen? Uh, while traveling to go Dolagen? Well, on, in the in the day and a half that it's going to take you to get there, is there anything you're <laughs> wanting to do? If not, that's fine. We'll just move to Dolagen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I don't think now for the moment. Okay, fine. I would like to be learning Elvish on okay. this trip. Okay, yes. How long do I have to learn it until I learn it? Do you know what? Mm -mm. Most languages take more than looking at a dictionary I mean, while riding on horse for a day and a half. I've studied for three days so far. Yeah. Tell me how many more days I need. Uh, more than three. So, how many? I don't know. A I'll have year. to. More than three. Show <laughs> <laughs> me how long it'll take you to learn four you languages. Make it, it takes a long time. <laughs> yeah, what if I roll a D20? <laughs> If you roll a double <laughs> 20, d20, I think that'll be double. We're not going to go there now. <laughs> there will come a time. Okay. But but it's going to take, things take a while to learn. Okay. How long is the trip again, did you say? It's a total of a two-day journey. So you've got another day and a half to go. Throughout the whole trip, Lorna's just using mage hands, just to like swapping around things from his team. He's like, takes a, like, a little knife from here, puts it over there. And he's just like doing just little things, just swapping it around. Until uh, people notice it's <laughs> later on. It's what, one of the mornings, or the morning, um, the morning that we uh, like of the day that we're going to reach Doll again. Um, I reckon Sully. <laughs> Sully sees you trying to use mage hand, and he remembers that awful attempt at <laughs> you trying to like wield a weapon with it. <laughs> um, and um, he he comes up to Lona. And especially after, you know, him saying, oh, he's grateful that you're here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's my breakfast! Lana! Sorry. Uh, yeah, real, real impressive, uh, Lana, buddy. Um, but, um, honestly, I think you get yourself into a lot of scrapes, right? Uh -huh. Is it fair to say? Uh-huh. Uh, and I think it's safe to say that sometimes you aren't able to defend yourself the best, huh? Uh-huh. The mage hand is a... Uh, is uh, clever, but maybe not so effective. Uh-huh. Lorna, put down my breakfast. Okay, and it will... Oh, <laughs> oh. Um, sorry. Uh, sorry. Oh, good night. Listen, name, he's telling you off. Uh, I'm not telling you off. Oh, good oh, I thought you were... I took that as uh, keep practicing mage hand so you can get stronger at it, and it might come in hand in future battles. Is that what you were My recommendation is that you learn how to use something else. Uh-huh. What do you want him to learn, Sally? Take out the sword. Oh. <laughs> With my actual hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. You know how to use one of those? Uh, tag. Yeah, very good. <laughs> I yeah. don't think, yeah, Sally moves out the way. He's like, I don't think you should touch me with that, buddy. Um, Remember, we burst into flames or whatever. Is that the sword? Yes. Yeah. You you want to learn how to use it? <sighs> Do I have to train for it? Yes. Yeah. <sighs> like tomorrow. Uh, and tomorrow, and the day after that, and the day after that, and the day after that, buddy. <sighs> Look, things are only going to get more dangerous from here on out, and your magic is impressive, but sometimes when you get caught, caught in close quarters, I worry about you. You know. Aw, Sully. Yes. Um, so, my offer to you is, I will teach you how to use a sword. And then, the next time you need to use that, hopefully, you can. <laughs> Lorna, like, looks at the sword and looks at Sully and... He doesn't say it, but... Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. Mm. I wasn't sure if you'd say yes or not. Mm. Um... Uh, and this, over, this feeling comes over Lorna and is like, is this what it's like to be to have a brother? Oh. <laughs> and it's like, it's just like, and Lorna's just like, I really, really respect you. But this is him in the inside. We're like, why are you But I'm just that? getting this intense look. Yeah. Like, <laughs> uh, uh, what? Are you, are you all right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Um, so look, 
Uh, obviously, I can't handle that sword, so um, I'm just going to use a practice one. Um, and I don't think Ha or I have a sword on us. Um, I have. Oh, no. I have one. No, I don't anymore. Oh, yes, she does. You got one on you? You have a sword? No, sorry, I lied. No, she does. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny, Namrot. Sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> I actually genuinely thought I did. Um, but yeah. here, I'm just going to find a big stick, all right? Yeah. And I'm going to. Should we both find big sticks? I don't want to chop you. Good idea. Yeah. I can use my flaming maze. That's a really nice offer, Nimrod. Um, but we'll save that for later. Maybe for defensive classes. Hey, and look, we so, can all be part of this. Okay, you found. Yeah, sure. We'll use one of my javelins. Not exactly the right length or Can face, we go but, use your javelins? Uh, no. no oh, only, please, please, no, please. No, only me and Lona are allowed to use the javelins. But what if Nimrod and I need training with javelins? Look, you two can be part of the training process when it comes to defensive combat. I but, agree. Um, but first, we're going to wow. work on footwork, okay? This is okay. sexism. Mm -hmm. See, we're gonna go form our own fighting club. Yeah, you know what? Let's go, I and I. Fist bump, Nimrod. <laughs> and we just <start. laughs> <laughs> You know, it's probably best that you and you and I are, are alone, well, at least for these first few classes. Alright. Oh, no, no, no. Right. Reflexes. Okay. That way. First lesson, that, that hit way. the enemy. That way. That way. No, you're that yeah. way. Good, Lana. Good. Okay, right. this is going to take a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, <laughs> let's go. Alright, beautiful, excellent. Okay, so then... Any, any long, any time that we've got downtime, I reckon we're working on it. Okay. And I'm learning Elvish. And you're learning... Actually, also I, I want to learn one. Elvish with you, Nimrod. Okay, we're standing uh -huh. and stealing the javelins. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And on the wish graffiti. Oh, yeah. Graffiti. You didn't hear Like, Nimrod was here. Twitty, twitty. Hey, so the rest of the journey to um, Dolagan is uneventful. Phew. Mm -hmm. Apart from these conversations. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, if we, if we remember, so Dolligan, if I may paint the scene of what Dolligan looks like. Mm -hmm. Dolligan is also on the river, like Isselman. And it also has a keep, like Isselman, but it's smaller. And the keep, just like Isselman, has a wall around it. Similar to Isselman, the architecture is quite compact. Mm. So, um, the alleyways are narrow and twisted. The stonework, imagine, imagine if you think of ancient Egypt, that kind of mm. slightly orangish stone, mm -hmm. yellowy orangish stone, that is what the entire town is made of. Mm. It's the cheapest building material is stone. <clears throat> so, You've been heading south. If I point out on the handy dandy map again, you've been heading south to Dolagon. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So there's the forest on mm -hmm. one side and the river on the other. The farm that Sully's parents are from are in between the forest and the city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The farms in this area, there's a lot of cattle and a lot of wheat, a lot of grain. It is summer, mm. it is hot and the grain is brown, golden, whoosh, rippling as you ride towards the city, uh, the town of Dolican. Okay. Intentions, plans. We need to keep a lookout of any orcs, right? I'm just so shocked that we haven't come across any so far. Yeah. Hmm. Lorna's just like, ah, really taking in the atmosphere. It's like, I could live here. Mm. Oh. It's a fine really place to grow up. Well, you guys seem best friends now, so you may as well just live here together. Yeah. You know what, Nimrod and I can just go back to Arata and you can have your little boy party. Yeah. Mm. Are you... Are you guys jealous? Yes. Of me and Lana? <laughs> yes. I wouldn't say we're best friends. You used to hate More like brothers. Yeah. <laughs> Bit more accurate, <laughs> wouldn't you say? <laughs> Oh well, their problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, um, uh, uh, speak, speaking of it, you didn't get to see the horses last night. I'm going to show you the horses. These are really good horses. Yo. You're going to see the one that I've had since I was a kid. He's a bit old. Yo. He's possibly dead now. But um, yeah, we'll show. I'll show him anyway. Yeah, we'll we'll come. Oh yeah, of course. 
Oh, um, thank goodness. So we thought that you were just going to go behind without, a it, without us. Yeah. You, you're going to, you're going to need to give me a minute with my family, though. It's fine. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. It, it, Did you want me to tell your dad? No. Okay. But um, yeah, just, yeah. It, it, please don't be too far away. But <sighs> okay. Yeah. That's fine with us. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Sally's, Sally's first intention is to let his family know the... So you want to go to the family farm? Yeah. By yourself. Is that the impression, or are you wanting to bring these guys with yeah, you? Yeah, he, he wants like half half a day, I think, just okay. to be. We'll be so. right outside the house. Yeah, yeah. But we won't tell anyone. <laughs> you can be. Yeah. We'll be around the farm, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So, um, it is the end of the day when you get into Dolligan. Yeah, and by the time you reach the family farm, it is past the end of the day. Mm. It took a whole day to get there. So the rest of you, Hakapella, Lona, Nimrod, are you staying in the town, or are you going, or is it you're going to follow this intention that Nimrod has said of of following <laughs> Sully out and just kind of hanging out? What what are your what are your three plans? What do you guys want to do? Um, uh, I'm happy to give him some space and stay in the town, <laughs> but I don't want to be too far away either. So I'm like, camp midway. Mm. I think I think Sully would have said that. Yeah, you can definitely stay the night, but he's just gonna he's just gonna tell. We can be outside. Yeah, we can mm. camp outside in your backyard mm. in your fields. I assume that would work. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Since it's close to the evening, then may I propose then that Sully arrives at the farm first, and then the mm. others will arrive a few hours later. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's just fast forward to that scene. Okay, we we come, we are seen, we see Sully walking up the pathway leading to the family home. Like all the other buildings in this area, it's it's a stone building, it's a humble building. The barn to the side is is just a black silhouette Mm. in the um, in the darkness. There's light coming from the windows. Mm. Smoke rising from the chimney. Yeah, it reminds him of his childhood. Um, and yeah, yeah, he's gonna tell them, and he's just gonna stand at the door. But <laughs> I don't think I can. <laughs> I don't think I can perform that. Um, um, not without. Um, <laughs> not without getting very upset. Okay. So. Um, uh, so, um, Sully's there with his family. Mm, Sully's them. there, he tells them, mm. and it is a very sad reunion. They are so grateful that you've come. Yeah. And the dwarven farmhand gives you your family space. Do you remember they had a dwarven farmhand? Yeah. Hand? She, the moment that you come and she gets a sense that there's serious news, she just kind of excuses herself and says, I'll just go be in, in town for the evening. Mm-hmm. And just leaves you guys. And you spend the next few hours kind of sadness, but also remembering all the great times yeah. that you had together. Yeah. Sully doesn't have many memories of Donny being happy. But he, the ones that he does, he, you know, they share them. Yeah. Um, I think, I think life was always hard for Donnie. Um, but, um, but they're trying to remember like the, the great times that he had. Um, um, and yeah, I think, I think it's a long time of just, just memorizing and grieving and yeah. crying. Yeah, but, um, indeed. But, you know, Sully's had a head start. On his family. Yeah. But I, I think being with his family actually lets him start the process properly. Yeah. And a few hours later, you three. It's been a few hours. You've been hanging out in Dolligan just for a few hours. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Dolligan's fine, no. So, Dolligan, so let's just talk about that for a moment. Mm. Most of the guards of Dolligan. They've got a, basically a skeleton crew of guards now, because many of them went north to Aratai when the city 
yeah. happened before they knew that orcs were coming to Islamon. Oh. So they actually have very, they're under-resourced. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but, so, but they've got um, guards at all of the main roads and they have scouts on horse that are traveling around the area constantly. But they are, they know that if anything were to happen, they, they are massively under, under um, supplied. Mm. Mm. Undermanned, under, mm. under resourced. Mm. 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 Understaffed. Understaffed. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Lorna, does, um, could Lorna spark up like a conversation with one of those guys and just kind of get the, the, the story of, you know, what, what happened? Um, and also, Lorna just wants to dig in. So, does everyone in Dolomar know everyone? Like, it's like a small, small enough town so, to know everyone. Yes, yeah, so right? Dolomar's small. Imagine. I was about to get a New Zealand reference, but unfortunately, that wouldn't help anyone outside of New Zealand. And the majority of our viewers are not from yeah. within New Zealand. Yeah. <laughs> it's it, yeah. it's a. Let me see. It's a town, not a village. Okay. But it's not a city. Gotcha. I will give a New Zealand reference. Yeah. yeah. So our oh. players think smaller than Ashburton. Oh, yeah. wow. so everyone knows everyone. So, like Omaru? Um, so everyone Omaru? would know everyone. Okay, sweet. But <clears throat> there's enough diversity of people yeah. that people can find partners and marry without it being okay. a genetic problem. So, <laughs> the, the, the reason why I ask... You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. The, re okay. the reason why I ask is that... That's how we define the difference between a village and a town. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> the reason why I ask is because Anyone I ask in that Dolomite will know this guy, right? So they'll know, they'll, they'll they'll know everyone will right. know Sully. So I want to yarn yeah, and then like, I got this guy who's yeah, mate Sully, and then he just gets a whole lot of stories. I just want to accumulate some stories about Sully, and like, okay. you know, so by the time I get back, <laughs> I'll know a bit about him. He goes, oh, yeah, good old Baker John said that uh, he used to steal bread. <laughs> I was thinking you were clean cut from the beginning. <laughs> okay, you want to collect stories? Yeah. So a tavern's possibly the best place to do that? Yep. Okay, Monique, you planning to do anything? Or is I could go to the tavern. Yep, yeah. okay, you go at the tavern? Yeah, yep. all three of you at the tavern, you're hanging out at the yeah. tavern. Yep. Okay, great. So, a um, classic D&D &D tavern. <laughs> <laughs> Except a non European classic D&D &D tavern. Oh. oh. What so, does that mean? <laughs> so, the windows. Oh. Matter, um, do you know what latticed windows? So, instead of there being glass, they have thin strips of wood across it that, that and in shapes and designs mm -hmm. imagine kind of moroccan kind of uh, thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so it stops like cats or birds coming mm -hmm. through but allows my breeze my <laughs> <laughs> and the breeze yes right yeah. okay <laughs> so it allows airflow to happen mm. this is a dry environment mm. right. yeah and so people are sitting around um okay <laughs> Um, Hakapala already orders whatever, like three things from the menu. My oh, stew. My stew. My um, stew. <laughs> my stew, my kebabs. And would you like. Smell. Would you like. I think you, because you smashed my banana with your ma mage hand earlier, I'm just gonna get another, like a bunch of bananas. Yeah, do they have rat burger? Can yeah. I have some curly tails? Oh my goodness. <laughs> this went. Um, and, uh, and so Lorna's like in the middle of a story. Can be in the middle of a story of a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So tell, tell me that story again about Sally. <laughs> that, 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 that was a really good one. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I want to hear this. Right, yeah. right, I want to hear it first. Okay. So, okay. so, Seventh so, time. So Sully and his little brother Donnie. Yeah. yeah. So Donnie was, was really cute, mm. but a bit naughty. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. So he had these big eyes, right? And he could he could just pull the wool over your eyes so easily. So 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 I caught him <laughs> with some fresh bread. No. He hadn't paid for it. <gasps> Is that Sully? No, Donnie. Donnie. Oh Donnie. But then so but I, I I was just gonna and there was Sully. And I'm sorry. I don't know any naughty stories about Sully. Hey, uh, hey, hey. No. You know what Sully did? What did he do? Sully paid for it with the most valuable thing he had, which was his sandals. Aww. What he sandals? He paid for the bread with his sandals. <laughs> he wore sandals as a kid? <laughs> and then he wore socks with him too. <laughs> tell, tell us about Sully's ex-wife. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, he, doesn't have, he never got married. He was uh, not married. Ex girlfriend. It's Charlene. Oh, Charlene. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's a sweetie. Is she here? Uh, he looks around. 
Oh. Should we give it a 50% <laughs> oh, chance? 50% chance? She's sitting over right over there. <laughs> oh, no. oh, my God. Oh, no. Charlene, this is the Charlene. What does she look like? I don't know. I'm, lo I'm looking so right at her. So Charlene is on, on the shorter side. She has a pleasant, round face. Oh. She oh looks pleasant, God. doesn't she? Please, she should, I, should I go up to her? Uh, um. She has kind of like cornrows. Oh, okay. And she's sitting there with with a man opposite. Uh, yeah, very. Oh, Hockabella is excited. She just I goes over. Tend to serve her table. Oh, all right. I I get them my stew, and I bring it over. <laughs> I'm like, uh, did this table get my stew? Um, they look at you and say, no, we we didn't. Oh. The the man says, I'm sorry. Who are you? I sorry, I'm very new here. It's my first day. Um, hey, <laughs> you're Charlene, right? She looks at. You're Charlene, right? Uh, yes, I am Charlene. Oh, I've heard so much about you. Thank oh, you. I think you know my friend. Uh, Who's your friend? Sully. Sully. Sullivan. Su you know Sully? Oh, yeah, <laughs> Sullivan and I go way back. Insight rolls, you <laughs> too? <laughs> we, work oh. we work together. Insight roll. Oh, insight roll. 11. 16. <laughs> the, the large man on the other side of the table his face, at the name Sully, kind of goes dark a little bit for a little while. Oh. <laughs> Nimrod brings over the curly tail. And she goes, oh, there's somebody on the curly tails. And she puts them down, she sacred flames them. <laughs> it's <so> crispy. <laughs> no. Oh, this is, this is Nimrod. Yeah, I know, you must have not seen a tiefling before, but she's new in town. Oh, you must be Farlene. <laughs> now Nimrod, I mean. Oh, no, it was Cheryl. <laughs> My name's Charlene. Oh. Are you a friend of Sully's as well? Yeah, we're be yeah, we're best friends actually. Who are you? Uh, my you name is <laughs> Charlene. Oh yeah. Who who's the man? This is my husband. Hello. Oh yes, Robert. nice to meet you. Robert, Robert yeah. yeah. Oh Bob. And then uh, Lorna comes over, uh, oh. puts his head on the shoulder, says, hey, nice to meet you, Charlene, and uh, sorry to be a bother. Uh, the uh, Bob's cool. Yeah, sweet. And then he just walks. Robert, oh, how do you know Sally? And he's slowly uh, uh, yeah, I uh, duck yeah, out yeah, yeah, of uh, a um, lot of room. <laughs> so, he says, we, Sully and I have known each other since we were kids. We've all, we've all known each other since we were kids. So then you must have stolen Charlene off Sully. Uh -oh. Oh. He looks at Charlene and Charlene looks at him and says, <laughs> what is... All right, let me just clear things up. I'm sorry, we lied. We're actually town guards from Maritime. We work with Sully, and you know, he's a really good friend of ours. And last time we were here, we were told that, um, you know, Charlene and Sully were, you know... Acquainted. Acquainted. He was very sweet on her. Charlene says that was a long time ago. <laughs> how long ago? Years ago. <laughs> like, how many years? <laughs> Like dormant as a volcano, kind of years ago. Dormant as a volcano years ago. Right, and yeah. Bob and I have been happily married for the last nine months. And she makes nine you months? happy. That's not very long. Perception rolls, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? That's it. Sixteen. Okay. Sure. The Back door away. to the um, the door to the tavern behind you opens up, and one of the soldiers walks in, looking around. Uh -oh. Sees you guys, oh. and says, and w walks over to you. He uh, says, "I just pretend I don't see him." <laughs> <laughs> it says, uh, "I saw you come into town with Sully." Yes. Oh, you know yeah. Sully. Oh. Who, who's who's asking? Oh, I am. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, what for? He's a guard. He, he's, yeah. uh, I need to speak with we're, you outside. We're a this, guard too. This, something's come. I mean, I understand you. You. From Aratai, yes. um, guards from Aratai. There's something that's come up, and I just need to speak with you outside for a moment. Please excuse me, he says right. to Bob and Charlene. <laughs> Charlene, you're very beautiful, by the way. You're very beautiful. She blushes. No. Blush. We should, um, uh, I'll send you a pigeon. <laughs> um, we need to know more about Sully, just because we want to use his story as it's blackmail, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. She says, Catch well, you on the flip side. <laughs> good luck. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, you're really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> she says, I think you're really pretty. I think both of you are really pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. M am I pretty? And <laughs> 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 hey, Lorna's just like, and okay. It's time to go. <laughs> I'm gonna follow that guy out. <laughs> okay, you get outside. 
the outside the tavern. The guard takes you out, and there are two other guards. Oh. And being held between the two guards oh. is. Save your Anusha come back! Oh. Ooh. Is Book. Book. He's back. Book. Wow. Don't touch oh. Book. Who is this? How did you find her? She has said she's come to give a message to you. She came of she came into the city on horseback, dropped her weapons, and says sh that she knew that four guards from Artai, including a dwarf, were had come to the city and she wishes to give herself up if that's required, but she merely needs to speak with you. Acapella draws out the battle axe. They're like, hang on, I recognize you. You were with that shaman orc. We left her in the forest. Oh, you did? Yes. Well, what's she doing here? Because the baddies always returned. <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm more worried about the fact that if she came, then there's sure to be an army then somewhere near. Here. She says, in truth, it is because of an army that I have come. Tell us more. When our overlord, Krush, took control, there was one of the chiefs from the southern forest who did not like his rule and has become a renegade. Mm. And I am certain will be targeting this town very soon. So I came to warn you. That sounds like a load of poo-poo. Yeah. How, how, how do we know you're telling the truth? And you know what? Let's take a break. A oh! <laughs> Let's take a pause there. What's okay. a renegade? I just thought of the TikTok. Renegade. 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 Hey, so guys, <laughs> we're going to, we're going to take a 10 minute break. And, um, but before we go into that, just remind you that we, our, our wonderful sponsor, BD&D. Shut BD&D! Wow. We love you! Sponsored us, thank you so much. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a short break, then we'll come back and chat with chat for a little bit, and then get into the next part of the story. Good. We'll see you guys soon! Yeah. See ya. The Magi were wiped out by six terrible spirit gods, but one survived, kept alive by the vengeance-filled last breath of their people. The Magi has one goal, to destroy them all. This is The Last Magi, a comic written and illustrated by Sean Lewis. It updates every week, and you can read it for free at www.thelastmagi.com. You can also buy downloadable PDFs of each chapter as they release at drears.itch.io. One of the ways that people can support our show is through our Patreon page. Patreon is amazing. It allows you to give directly to the show in exchange we give you exclusive additional content. Before we go into the details of that, we'll tell you a little bit about our show in case you're new to it. Dice Legends is a Dungeons & Dragons live stream. We are a group of television and theater professionals. We film on a studio here in New Zealand. It's our aim to create the most exciting, engaging, fast-paced, hilarious fantasy story that we possibly can. And our Patreons really help us to do that. Thanks to our Patreons, we're able to get more minis, more terrain, more visuals like, you know, character art, emotes, graphics, more music. And also, our Patreons help to pay the cast and crew. And all of us on the show really appreciate that. We're really proud of what we've achieved already in the handful of months that we've been streaming, but there's a lot more that we would love to be able to do. For example, we'd really like to be able to hire editors to create more short content, like highlights, tips and tricks, even better behind the scenes. And also, we'd like to eventually be able to have a merchandising range, you know, like t-shirts and tea towels and plushies and maps and maps on t-shirts, all that kind of great stuff. 
When you go to our Patreon page, you'll see that there are three tiers, three ways of supporting us. The first is called Official Patreon, and that's simply an inexpensive way of supporting us. The second tier, called Lore Legends, is for people that want to dig deep into the world. You get access to our ever-growing World Anvil lore document. You also get access to additional content, uh, behind-the-scenes content, and you get access to the official character sheets that the characters play, and you get your name in the credits. Our third tier is called World Builders. World Builders get all the perks of the previous tiers, and it's really for people that want to help create the world. So World Builders are able to help name NPCs and create monsters and create locations and populate the map, and also to participate in polls throughout the month. Quick polls such as, what kind of character should our next guest play in the show? Or, what kind of magical item should I give to the characters? Look, whatever way you want to support our show, we really appreciate it. And we look forward to creating more exciting, exclusive content for you. I don't think there's anything else we need to cover. Nah, let's, yeah. nah, let's so play. Get back into it. Well, yes. Yeah. All right. We love you. Three, two, one. Okay. Whoa. I've got my battle axe. How Bella has, at least. Uh, she's holding it threateningly towards, towards book. Book. What information do you have? Let's. Can we go someplace that's not in the street to d discuss this? And there was a fourth member of your party. Yes, he's unavailable at the moment, but uh, you can Please deal with a message. <laughs> well, we can send, we can pass. Message. I re I reckon Sally isn't far from showing up here because he he wants to let the team know that um, yep. things have quietened down at his place. Okay. Should we head into a booth in the tavern? Mm, how mm. about we go to the guardhouse? Yeah. Says the um the guard the guard that that gathered you brought you out. That's actually a good idea. And I'm just yeah. going to tell somebody if Tully does come looking for us and he comes to the tavern because he might suspect that we're all at the tavern just to let him know where we are. Can we do that? We can send someone to, to get him. Yeah. If you think it's appropriate. I, I do. Yeah. All right. Do you? Let's go to the guardhouse. Okay. Get over. And I still have my battle axe towards her. Because I don't trust her. I was kidnapped. Why do you her? think that they're coming here specifically? Hmm. Let's, let's... She says, I'll, I'm very happy to tell you, but I want, don't want to do it when we're in the streets. So once you get into the guardhouse, once we get to the guardhouse and we're all ready, I'll tell you everything you need to know. Mm -hmm. Why? Who's in the streets? If you want me to say now, it's fine. I <clears throat> don't want to encourage panic. I know you're, I know you're excited, Nemrod, but let's wait till the guardhouse. Mm. I'm just nervous about bringing her into an enclosed area. Don't worry. We deal well in closed areas. Not since when? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we just established that you can't be too close to people uh, when you do your It's the first time text. for everything, okay? <laughs> so, Sully, you've... Maybe are you heading back into town to, to yeah. gather them or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would have gone to the tavern. Because I think, I think he would have known when you were going. Great. So, and a guard meets you along the way, fills you in on the story, situation, mm. and we find the four of you 
this orc whose name was, do you remember her name? Mook. Mook. And some town guards. I'm just putting, let's grab you a minute. I'm not, ex- I'm not doing this because I'm expecting there to be a battle. I'm just yep. doing it so that something, so we have, we can visualize how many people are in this conversation. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh no. So. I'm the star. So. Tech and Book, Book says. The dwarven, dwarven. Book says. The renegade orc chieftain's name. Is Darkum. 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 He had. She kind of. Aspirations of being the overlord himself. When we entered. When we entered Aratai, we had been told that, you know, our part in entering Aratai into the stadium was to cause havoc and for a week or, or, or two. Mm. But it became clear that you four disrupted the, um, the plan. The plan, Mortine's mm. plan. And so my overlord, Krush, could tell that Mortine was not in control as much as he had said he was, and so we abandoned the city. He had promised us that we would have dominion over these southern lands, and so Krush decided to then attack Isselman. But it was at that point that Darkum exposed, uh, revealed that he was in search of power, and created a rift in our in our forces. And he is from the south here. And I know for many years he's talked about having lordship over this town because of its trade with Muntia, its resources, its food. Hmm. I have suspicions. Why are you telling us all of this? Is this a, a warning of something that is to come, or are you trying to tell us to quietly leave? Yeah, what's your deal? And Hakapella looks at Book, and she has prepared a spell, uh, detect thoughts, to try and think about. You try and see what her first level is the surface um, thoughts of it, and then I'm gonna try and keep probing, but yeah, um, do you have to nice. make a wisdom save? <clears throat> she fails. So yeah, I'm just uh, wonder what her surface thoughts are right now in this moment. We yeah. didn't leave on the best of terms, yeah. if we're all being honest, Book. So this is a surprising move. Yes. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> like my tries to be intimidating. <laughs> Sneezing flames out her ears. <laughs> <laughs> Sneezing flame out her uh. ears. Yeah. <laughs> it's. Uh, I am uncomfortable in this situation as well. My overlord, Krush, has asked me to um, win your trust. He wishes the alliance with this dwarven woman. Um. What? <laughs> How do we know? that our lives will be safely, I guess we stay alive at the end of all this. It is in my best interest, it is in Krush's best interest, it is your best interest to stop Darkum from attacking the city. No, it's actually to Krush's best interest that he doesn't have competition, so you're just looking to level the playing field, so. We can't ignore the fact that Dolagant is precious to us. Aratai. So they know that we're not going to just let this place get overrun. So you think that we'll make a truce and fight with the orcs to stop their comb? My overlord merely asks in exchange for my help and alerting you to this danger so that you can prepare your city 
that he is allowed to have a conversation with this dwarven woman. That is all. One conversation. One conversation. <laughs> um, I, I do it again. Um, I take thoughts again and try and figure out like if she's telling the truth. She's telling the truth and she's trying to gain your trust. She's trying to, okay. Wow. Well, guys, she's trying to get us to trust her. What is, so what does he want from her? She's genuine. He didn't tell me that. He, he knows that she's very powerful. Yes. But he didn't tell me what he wants from her. Okay. When are they coming? We could probably expect them within the next day or two. There's not very many guards here. There's not. There's not. Will your orcs help us fight? The all other the orcs? other, or all the orcish troops are in Isselman, other than Darkum's forces. Is it orc slaying time again? Do we evacuate the city or do we fight? Yeah, to we will lose the gun if we evacuate. <sighs> if we. If we know they're coming and they don't know we're coming, we have the element of surprise. If, do. if they don't know that we know, then that might be the advantage that we have to use. This is time for plan hey. mole. <laughs> uh, plan mole. Plan mole. You know, we, we yep. talked about plan mole, where we dig giant holes in the <laughs> in the in the beginnings it, where they come in and they fall into the. Ah. I, I like your thinking. As in, we need to slow or even divide. The troops as best as yes, we can. Yes, Clan Mole. Yes. All right, let's okay. set some some Clan Mole. Some, some some booby traps. Booby trap the city. Okay. Yes. We've got to work now. Now. Right. All right. We need to gather the troops. Any able-bodied people still in the city, Get the we weapons. can all help. Um, uh, Sally wants to ring the town bell. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Go for it. Yeah, so um, he is going to, yeah, he's going to City Hall or the Town Hall. And he's like, okay, right. Um, we need to work out what our plan is and then we need to disseminate it across the people of Dolligan. All right? Nimrod looks at, what's your name? Book. 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 Nimrod looks at Book and she goes, we need all of the weapons. And she looks at her big axe. Oh, has she got her weapons or she's taken them? They've been taken off her. Oh, yeah. So what Nemrod does is she goes, we need all the weapons. She goes and finds Pooh's axe. And she just kind of waves it in her face. <laughs> 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 and then Sully is like... <laughs> and then hands it to Book. <laughs> oh, Sully! You said it yourself. We need every weapon we can possibly get. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Right? He's right. And it uh, checks out, she's gonna, it's in her best interest to fight on our side. I guess so, yeah. Just, but the moment something funny happens and you're trying to hurt any of my friends or any of the people here, you're dead meat. Do you and know I what? like dead meat. Yeah, you do. Mm. <laughs> Look, um, Nimrod, some sauce. You, yeah. you seem to have some sort of like mm -hmm. interest in making traps and fortifications. I'm gonna get, we're gonna find all the regular civilians who can't wield weapons and they're gonna work for you and they're gonna dig every trench that you need, all right? I know someone I'd like on my team. She's been married for nine months. <laughs> oh, oh, great. Uh, well, I'm sure that can be arranged. Um, no. Um, oh yeah, we met we Charlene. Yeah. Okay. But I'm, this is not the time. I'm gonna try and make, <laughs> I'm gonna work with the militia here to make sure that we're putting our soldiers in the best place possible. Uh, magic's gonna be really useful here, buddy. Yeah, Lorna. Yep, it's gonna try and aid as, as best as you can. Okay. Um, setting up, yeah, I just wanna set up some, some traps. I'm thinking trenches. Mm -hmm. Great. All around some, yeah. Okay. Sharp sticks. The ding, 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 ding. It's, early, it's like about eight ding. or nine at night, mm -hmm. yeah? <laughs> the bell is rung. Mm -hmm. Citizens of Dolagan come out of their homes, come into the square. There are actually two squares mm -hmm. that are right next to each other in front of the keep. Mm -hmm. People are informed. Plans are made to start digging trenches, mm. setting traps, yep. um, setting um, Sticks. Start, stakes, start, st yep. stakes mm -hmm. into the ground, all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And work starts straight away. Mm. So we have, we have Sully, you're working with the militia, yeah. getting people armed. Yeah, and, that, um, and part of that conversation is um, he's waiting for his mum and dad to show up as well. Yes. Um, and then um, once they're there, um, he, he says, 
um, we're going to need your best horses. Um, uh, also, Mum, uh, do you think you can still use a bow? Yes. And uh, Dad, don't do anything risky, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Uh, Luna's going to um, go over to this one's dad and starts talking about a bit of bit of magic of what we can do to combine, maybe even combine some forces. <laughs> yeah. And because I don't know much about my my magic, but I can, Let's have that I can give me some tips. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, dad, can I call you dad? Yeah, okay. yeah, sure. yeah I'll call you. Uh, um, hey, hey, Viker, but uh, yeah, you can. Viker, Viker, Viker. Nah, you should go on there. Yeah, dad. Um, you know, I mean, you, you've been around magic a lot more than, than I have. Yes, but I barely control it. All right, that's something we share, we have in common. Um, how any any great tips to just how I can harness this a bit more and be more helpful? Really, I spend most of my time trying not to use it. Trying because um, I actually burnt my wife really badly one time in. It just got out of control, and she she covered the scar as well. But ever since then, I do everything I can never to use it. To be honest, Lana, from my experience, you're a bit of an exception. Okay. Weirdly enough, and that you don't seem to suffer in the same way that my family does and did. So. I don't know if you're looking at the right person. I think you need to look at yourself. Look inward. The answer's probably there, buddy. Thanks. Sally? Um, you're right. Okay, but, uh, yeah. Okay. The, to work. So, we the, the rest of the evening is spent digging and digging and digging, mm. putting pits, digging, putting spikes in, suiting up. If we do, if we dig a pit, can you use one of your spells to make it look like it's grass? I mean, I can only do it for one of the pits. <laughs> Over one of the pits. <laughs> what if we My. did a big pit? <laughs> not that, not, not not that, that powerful big. with I'm illusions. Not no worries, just mm. shaking. Ten could feet we, cube. <laughs> could we lay flash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like dry grass uh, yeah. around and then douse it with like, I don't know, oil, is there any oil, any yeah, flammable substances? Oil, yeah, there is oil, yeah, 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 just yeah. in and around. So like I'm thinking, Someone. We go to the bar and we Make get a whole bunch of stuff. Nice. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Guys, Mother. I've been experimenting something really cool. <laughs> oh, let me show you, Nimrod. Look what I. Because I can't do what you guys do, but look, you just get some spirits here. Uh -huh. You put the cloth here. And then, <sighs> hey, would you mind? Say, no, don't do Not it yet. yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, it's quite ingenious. Yeah, and then you, you kill it on fire and then you throw it like a shot. But no. you're like, oh, yeah. And that's how I burnt those scorpions. You're I did amazing. that! So you can throw, Nimrod can... Yeah! So we got all the drunk heads out uh, and to, to throw the bottles. Oh, they won't do it. They uh, we can certainly them. douse the fields. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. All right. Nice. All right. Hey, suffice it to say, yeah, your prepared. preparations are made. Yeah. yeah. Because I've got everyone knows in Swinging. every movie that ever has been with these kind of battles, all the preparations get made before the army arrives. <laughs> yeah. 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 The army yes. never arrives Magic. in the middle. Yep. Oh, oh, no! no. Think <laughs> one! <laughs> Still gonna dig this oh. trench! <laughs> I found him. So, okay, so. I, get, I can't look at this anymore. I keep thinking it's a cookie. Can you get it away from me? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a small Oreo. Quiet has settled across Dolligan in anticipation. Oh. Some of the scouts of the Dolligan Guard. Mm have come running into the town, riding hard into the town, saying, movement, spotted in the eaves of the forest. Shadows flitting. Do you want to be stationed out near the pits and the traps or in the city? Out. Oh, I, want, I want to be the bait. Okay, you guys are out. Yeah, I'll be, yeah, I'm definitely out with the yeah. soldiers as well. I don't want them to be in the city, no. We're just gonna try and keep them out. I have an idea. If you guys are out and two of us are in, if they come in, then we can attack from both ends. Yeah. It's a big, yep, yeah, okay. So we're gonna have, we're gonna have split forces. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Yeah, me and someone would. on the front, and then 
Lana, I presume, is in the back. <laughs> okay, but you still want to be able to see the pits and things like that. Yeah. Okay, so you're not like on the other side of town. No, no, no. 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 Okay, you're still in the fields. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Facing the forest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With the pits that you've dug and laid stuff over yeah. in front of you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The first hammer fall of invasion happens the next evening. You've had a whole day to sit in anxiety oh, God. <laughs> with forces not even pretending to hide, milling in the undergrowth of the forest, flitting from tree to tree. People's anxiety and tension over the whole day has built up. Can, 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 can I, um, 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 uh, Sally goes to Hakapala and, and he's like, these people, these people need, they, they need to believe, all right? You believe who? Book? <laughs> She's freaking lying. Book, Nimrod, this is, we can't, we can't give in to this right now. We can't give in to this, um, paranoia. Right? I'm so stressed. I don't even know what's going on, guys. I'm just eating my scorpions over here. <laughs> okay, you, you're good at inspiring us, Hakapala. Mm. Why don't you inspire these people? You've got your kalimba. Luna finds a piece of chicken and just hands it over to you. Uh, <laughs> you're right. And with the, with, the, um, with the chicken in one hand and the kalimba in the other, she plays with one thumb. Everybody listening. <laughs> this is a home to a lot of people mm. that we don't want to get hurt. Mm. And so we will do our best to protect this town. You guys think of your families, <laughs> think of your friends, think of your childhood enemies, and you want them safe. You want to hate them forever. <sighs> We've got this. <laughs> and I'm Bardic Inspiration, anyone who's there, like, how to inspire everybody. <laughs> um, and my but my first one goes to Sully because this is his hometown. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah! But to everyone else who's there, oh, D8, that's right. <laughs> it's improved now. D8. D8. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Okay. But I still don't know what's going on. Oh, well, I'll just give guidance to Lona. Ooh. Well, he's <laughs> and I'm going to enhance your ability. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. We're going to share. What, what's my, what, what am I giving so you? So the first hammer fall of invasion falls in this area. It is a lot. Go. I'll give you a strength check. Uh, can people put some more bush foliage? Some more foliage. 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 In our foliage. map, these squares here are the pits. Oh, cool, 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 cool. The different colored ones are the pits. Mm. So there's you guys and some rocks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So further up ahead, we had. Can you pass? Can you pass me some? Sorry. <laughs> Further up ahead, we had Sully yeah. and one other. Who was with you, Sully? It was Nimrod. Nimrod said she was up, at, up there. Yeah. Yep. And Boop. We'll be back here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. Where the fuck are Can I see quickly, Jason? <laughs> that looks cool. We are the Armada. Mm. <laughs> one more time, please, Jason. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Okay. And behind, we have you guys. The first wave. Oh God. There's a roar, oh. a roar, a thunderous roar from the forest. Yeah. And a charge. Oh. Uh oh. Keepers. Whoa. A large one orc appears first. Oh. Rushes into into the into frame. Into, rushes into frame. <laughs> yeah, I come. Build it up behind, please, just a little bit. The mm. first orcs just just very tall. Pile in. Mm. Oh God. I lean over and talk to Book. Do you know any of these guys? They are. Is this the front? Yeah. Cool. Great. Thank you. Perfect. Great. Um, Book says they went against our overlord. I have no allegiance to these filth. 
Oh. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> they rush forward, arrows arc through the sky. <laughs> Am I just in the open there? Hang on, give me a foliage. <laughs> give yourself a bit of foliage. <laughs> <laughs> Our arrows arc through the air, and they come from your, for your position, Nimrod, Sully. Sully, the first one gets an 18 for you. Oh, I think. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Um, Nimrod, 19. Oh. An arrow impales you. Oh, two hit points. <laughs> Book. Book does something. She actually puts her axe aside and just says to you, Nimrod, the axe is a ruse. Oh. And she grabs some sticks out. Get out of here! And, oh. she, and she says, Koshasha, guide me, Koshasha, guide me, Koshasha, guide me. What? Oh, I pick I... up her axe. You know who Koshasha is, right? Yes, She's you not... do know. Koshasha is... The god of... Earth god. Earth. Oh. I think I know what she is. Oh, but what? And, <laughs> and oh. she's... Okay, so that's... The orcs have fire. <laughs> Raylene. Yeah. Acapella. Yikes. All right. Ashley, do you know what? Koshasha is faster than all of you. Oh, okay, yeah, go. Ooh. Koshasha says, I drive, I draw their fire. Okay, girl. And she goes, one, two, three, four, five, six, and says, come to meet your death, <laughs> Darkum betrayer. <laughs> okay, that's that's all she does, and she takes defensive action, so any attacks on her have disadvantage. Really? Okay, yeah, uh, Capella gets, I was like, uh, it's party time, and she gets a match, and she goes, <laughs> to a Molotov cocktail. And, uh, and gets ready. And she gets ready, and then I'm gonna go, oh, how far can I? You can I? move five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then I get the Molotov cocktail, and I'm about to. Okay. Mm. Lorna, Lorna um, uh, balls up some flames. Can Lorna hit this tree right here? Yes, that is in range. Sweet, and he firebolt straight there, yeah. and is willing to take out the first line of walks here. Yeah. I will die. Come on, come on, come on. I love this. 19 plus yeah. a success of 24. Well, damage. Woo, damage. 25. <laughs> Come on. 40, uh, 41. Let me go. Five. Five. <laughs> it's not enough to take it out. Oh. It's just on fire. <laughs> um, can Sully have a longbow? Sure. Um, he, because he knows that first has got to, they've got to clear the pit first, and they, yeah. they can't yeah. run up to them into that point. Mm -hmm. And so he remembers his mum teaching him how to use a longbow a very long time ago. So he picks it up, he draws a straight, down, <laughs> boing, go. Aww. Um, nice. Great. So here it comes. It is an, it is a proficiency plus dexterity. It is a fifteen. That's it. Who are you hitting? Who are you going for? Sorry, who are you um, going for? The one at the front. <laughs> it bounces off his armor. He doesn't even flinch. Oh. Um, and, then, and then he notices that that one's pretty sturdy, and so he goes for the archer behind him. Ooh, that's going to be tricky. He's got cover. Uh, then he goes for this one. Okay. Uh, hoi! Um, that is a, a, a 14. 14 hits. Ooh! Down. Let's go. Uh, three! Nice. Ugh, that doesn't... That's a mere flesh wound. A mere flesh wound. So, down. headband. Down. Headband gets, is on minus three. Okay. <laughs> Nimrod. Okay, um, oh my, I see you that she, uh, Book has channeled, um, Kasha? Koshasha. 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 I'm like instantly impressed. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, uh, 60 feet away are they? They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All of them are within 60 feet. Cool. I send a sacred flame towards this front one. This one? Doosh. Yeah. The leader. Nice. Yeah. Okay. That's what we need. Uh, here let's we go. go. Let's go. Check them up. Check them up. Woo! Eight, nine, nine hit points. Nice. nice. And then as a bonus action, I pick up her axe because I've got bull streak. So oh, yeah. Yeah. double carry. Yeah. yeah. yeah bull streak. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. They they run forward. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This tree keeps falling Wait, down. Do we have any trenches that they could fall in? These are the trenches. Oh, These yeah. are the ones that you've covered up. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay cool. And is doused in flame? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. The two on either side, on on the opposite side of the rock from you, Sully and Nimrod. Mm -hmm. um, they don't have reach. They are going to try to. <clears throat> well, let's see. First of all, if they collapse into the pits, shall we? Oh, mm. yes, please. So, leader. No. Okay. Thank you. This one does not collapse, but this one collapses completely. <laughs> they run onto it. Their weight is too much for it, and they fall into the pit below. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, and now the there were two archers. Sorry, two archers shoot, and they cannot only they can only get a good shot at Sully and Nimrod. So one for each of you. Sully, shot, terrible shot. It misses you, and Nimrod, a second shot for you misses you as well. No. A, um, Book goes, and she attacks uh, like four times. Oh. What? <laughs> what is she? She attacks four Why? times, all four, for this, and but she actually does it like with her. She starts with a kick first, and punch, punch. She goes kick, punch. Punch and then stick. Slick. Wow. Get it. Get it. Let's go, book. Okay. Um, the blue one is the stick. All the others are unarmed. She lands two blows. Nice. Oh! And does 14 points of damage. Whoa. Yo! And he's, his nose, the, the leader orc, his face is, is looking really nasty. And his blood splooshing out of his nose. Nice. And that's him, Raylene. All right, uh, Hakabella strafes one, two. I'm oh. gonna get an opportunity attack on you. Headbands is oh. next to you, so we'll get an opportunity attack on oh, you. Oh, boo. No, uh, can my Molotov hit? Yep. Yep, all right, from Roll. there then. Uh, da -da 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 -da, and I'm gonna use inspiration. Da -da 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 -da. Thirteen plus dex. Dex. You're not two. proficient at it. No, I'm not. But thirteen plus two is. Oh, brilliant! Yeah. Nice. Oh, the Molotov nice. cocktail leaves from your hand. Yeah. Yep. You want to describe? Um, and as it's soaring, uh, Hakabella just smiles again, <laughs> feeling the rush of like when the first time that she threw a Molotov cocktail at the scorpion, and so she just watches it. <laughs> 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 she's like, she's just ready for it. It's it, gonna fly. It, it goes <laughs> over their heads, oh. lands Doosh. on the pit behind. And splashes. Yes, and it's covered in spirits as well there. So and five d six. Let's go five d six. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you. All right, here we go. Um, ooh, four, four, uh, four, eight. Thirteen. 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 Yep. Four. Yeah. Four point two. Four point two. Eighteen. Yep. Eighteen. Okay. Key, 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 key. Okay, so we have the, the leader orc. Mm -hmm. He's gone. Ooh. Oh! Annihilated. Oh. Ah, and the orc standing next to him, who's called Headless, Headless, is seriously hurt as the pit below her disintegrates ah. and plan she falls into it. Nice. Oh, and so, no. like, so, yeah, yeah. because of this whole area of spirits, does, do these two get it doesn't go that far. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> uh, Lorna turns to uh, this palm tree and he takes another thunderbolt, firebolt, and he wants to hit that. Okay. And hopefully aim it towards right these two right there. Okay. All right, let's go. Come on. 14 plus 6 is a dirty 20. Yeah, that's oh, a hit. Okay, okay yeah. Okay, she's all Come on, come on, hit me. Come on. Come on! Oh. Right, on the ground. Zero and a nine. Nineteen! Yeah. Nineteen! Oh. <laughs> that has to work, right? Yes. Yes. Surely. So, it, it, so this tree falls down towards them. They both have to make a death saving throw or be smashed by a tree falling on their heads. Amazing. Headband. Headband, Headband makes, tries to make and fails. And we're going to call the one next to Headband, we're going to call him Squinty. Oh. Squinty. 
Yes, Quinty fails as well. Oh, and Huskabelle is looking at them and just. <laughs> <laughs> how much, Arson! How much damage does a falling tree do? <laughs> oh, a face palm tree. That's just, it's well, a, they're now trapped, right? I guess so. But also be at disadvantage, they will be. Oh, down. nice. So you're saying they're held and they're pinned. And like, they're yeah. pinned? Yeah. Okay, let's do. Because a great club is like, what? Is that 2d6 or 2D, is it? 2d8? Yeah, yeah this is, this, is this, this similar? Is this let's is do trunk. 2d12. Ooh. I've never had two D12s before. What does anyone even ever used a D12? Great. Yeah. So this is the yeah. one. They're the ones that are easy to mistake. Yes. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, okay. Great. First time. Four and five. Nine. Nine. Okay. Let's <laughs> get. <laughs> you just um. Okay. It clips them. Clunks them. <laughs> um. I'm sorry. They're not caught. No. Oh. They're both. They're both hit by it. Uh. Okay, Sully. <laughs> um, great. Um, chucks the bow to the, to the side. Shing, pulls out the spear of Sotavana. Yeah. And, um, and uh, jumps um, uh, towards these ones. Okay. Here. Um, eh. And then attacks this one. Attacks Squint. Hiya. Uh, that is a um, 23. Wow. That's a hit. Yes, good. I'm glad about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that is a... Um, how much do I add to this again? I add um, six, so eight. Got there eventually. Nice. And Squint, Squint is gone. Yes! Guys, uh, your spear point. Yes, and then he turns on the other one and then lunges forward. Um, great. Yeah! And that... Whoa! Oh, what a... It is a crit town. Uh, great. And here it comes. It is a, ooh, it is a 14. Oh, and headband is gone as well. Yeah. All right. Ha Hakapella's turn. I warmed him up for you. Hakapella. Oh, no, 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 no. Nimrod's turn. Nice. Sorry. That's all right. I, um, so that's still a trench, isn't it? It's a trench and they're, 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 they've fallen into it. Can I do double movement and then do the defensive position, or does it just one movement and then defensive position? One movement and defensive. Okay, so one, two, three. Mhm. Mm yep. Four, five, six. six. Defensive position. Okay. Nice. Nice. Um. The. So it's the orcs' turn. Um. So, the two orcs that are in the trench. Uh, stand up. And. Um, climb out. Their turn, as long as they get an athletics roll successfully, then oh, I see. Yeah, thank you. Nice. As long as they get athletics roll successfully, they'll be then able to do something else. Cool. Yeah, no problem. They both um, get out and they both rush book. <laughs> both rush book. Oh, no. And swing for her. No! The first one hits her. And the second one hits her. Oh. No! Not Book. Not Book. They do, a, they do significant damage. Mm -hmm. She takes nine plus extras bits. She takes a total of 17. Oh! Ooh. Ouch! Yikes, Book. Okay, um, two archers. Um, we'll shoot for you, Hakapella. Uh, why do I keep calling you Hakapella? Nimrod. <laughs> okay, they're at disadvantage Thank you. though. Shot number one at disadvantage, critical miss. He breaks his bowstring. <laughs> 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 and the second one Bill. at disadvantage misses as well. Ha <laughs> ha! She yells out. <laughs> <laughs> they, <laughs> they actually start creeping backwards. Okay. Shaboo. Book's turn. Book wheels around, does the same thing. Kick, 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 wham! <laughs> Three hits for uh, the orc in front of her, uh, a woman with ponytail. <laughs> and this orc with a ponytail is just annihilated. Wow. Nice. Man, Book, you good. Mm. Okay. Oh, Hakapella. Yes. Hakapella. Your opponents are gone. Hakapella strikes again. One, two, three. 
Um, and she gets out nice. two rounds, battle axe, and just nice. come for the kneecaps. <laughs> okay. Uh, you have advantage because you're surrounding the orc. Yeah. You took on one side yeah. and you on the other. 15. Nice. Plus strength for. Yeah, it's a hit. Yeah, yeah it's a hit. Yeah. All right. Uh, and I'll use a d10 for that one. Yeah. Good grief. Because I do double hand and it was just a two plus two. Okay. Four. No, sorry, plus three. This, Five. This orc, this orc is wearing a really like um, dirty mangy singlet. Mm-hmm. So we'll call her singlet. Singlet. Dirty mangy. Singlet out. Fly <laughs> <laughs> like all my old. <laughs> <laughs> Lona. Um, Lona, is, it, oh, is this guy? Oh, I have yep. not. Uh, I've not yeah, done that? anything with the guard. Who is that? Town guard that's with you. Yep. Rushes in, rushes for singlet. Come on, Jimmy. Uh, misses. Oh, oh, Jimmy. 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 <laughs> um, is this guy still alive? Get it together, Jimmy. Is that guy still <laughs> yeah, alive? Oh. Is he? Or is he burnt and just? Oh yeah, he's badly burnt. Badly burnt. I didn't go. I didn't get that work to go. You're right. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> Stands out and um, tries to extricate herself from the himself himself from that place and easily gets out and rolls around and <laughs> extinguishes the <laughs> flames. Nice, and okay. then Lorna sees that orc trying to extinguish flames and he thought, <laughs> firebolt! And he like firebolt straight for, uh, yeah, as they're rolling around and just as the flames are about to go out, hopefully okay, hits it. Okay, now, wait, 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 yep. you don't have a good line of sight. Okay. Unless you climb up on a rock. I will climb up on you, yeah, Lorna. <laughs> And then he just, can I? Yeah. yeah. That's sweet. You thought you were going to be less on me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, What'd no. you get? A natural one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> does it, does it, does it hit? <laughs> 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 sorry, sorry. You can't have one episode without no. you rolling away. <laughs> um, it, the person that's most in your line of fire is Book. Okay. Oh, oh. Right. no, not the book. Not the book. Oh, I threw the book at her. Oh! <laughs> For those of you, I heard say, that saying somewhere. <laughs> hey, it goes right past her face. Yeah. Oh, nice. Making her kind of flinch and go, what? And swear and orcish, but you don't hit her. Um, oh, sweet. And then I, I point, as she looks at me, and I, I point at the guy and like... <laughs> <laughs> Sully. Yeah, so, um, Sully wants to go uh, one, uh, two, three, four, five, nice. six. Um, and he's like, this is how it's done! <laughs> Can I have an athletics roll as you jump over the pit? Oh, you got it. Got it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I can jump like... Well, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I still want you to make an athletic. Okay. That's simple. It, it just won't be a difficult one. You got us. Okay. Um, that is a 15. Yep, good enough. Yeah. Oh, 16 even. Um, great. Uh, just stab. Prone. Oh, yes, he is prone, isn't he? Um, that is a 20 dirty. Easily hit. Yes, great. Hiya. Skadooji. Hiya. Uh, nine. Gone and yes. Hellas is gone as well. The orcs are falling like flies. And then he looks over at this one here, and then at he... the orc with it, with yes. the bow and arrow. Yes, and he's like, "You're not the only one who can attack it, right?" And then he pulls out a javelin, <gasps> and he's like, uh... <laughs> "Nimrod was here." Nimrod hears him say that, she goes, "Oh." <laughs> 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 Oh, whatever! Oh, sure, yeah! <laughs> and then the fires, Nimrod was here at the... Oh no, it is a... it's a... it's a... an 11. Ah. Wah, wah, wah. Oh. Nimrod. I run over to Sully to see what he's up to. Actually, I don't, I like... I go to hide. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, knock over, oh, sorry. Six. No, yeah, I'll go hide behind the palm tree. Yeah. I fire a secret flame at the red shorts, or red... red skirt. Red, red shorts orc? Yep. Red shorts orc. Red shorts orc. Call her shed. Skirt. 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 There you go. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> um, why am I failing all the time? 
Because it's a good spell, but no. <laughs> and then I summon up my spiritual weapon. Okay. And I yes. fling it towards the other homie. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. Oops, is this a strength check? Oh. That's a spell, isn't it? Mm. Oh, there's a one. Wow! The spiritual weapon goes flinging past. A spectral blade goes Ooh. swinging past. Mm. And <laughs> Just directly misses. up into the sky? Yeah, what I was trying to do is I was trying to. Um, uh, I'm trying to cause a distraction. <laughs> so what I did is I flung it into the air. Wow! Yeah. Is that what you were trying to do? <laughs> yes. Yes. I yeah. hope it worked. Yeah, me too. <laughs> cool. Um, okay. Book. Let's go, Book. Will um, take out the um, take out the orc in front. Oh, no, no, thanks, sorry. The orc and stay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. <laughs> oh. And big numbers. <laughs> Boom. Um, singlet is gone. Singlet. Well, singlet is singlet. Singlet. Yeah. Yeah. You did he really made you singlet? <laughs> <laughs> nice. And You've there are only two orcs left. They both have bows, and they both turn and run, 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 run. Attack. Okay. Anyone that wants to make a ranged attack on them can do so. Take a plane. Okay. Sacred Flame, you roll, right? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Guiding Bolt, you roll. Sacred Flame, I roll. Mm -hmm. Anyone else doing a range um, attack I'm on I'm gonna them? get my crossbow as well and go, what the fuck? Firebolt. <laughs> oh, I kinda wanna not do that, actually. Can I run up to them? Or will they, cause will They've I get? They've got a head start. Oh, it's gonna be a range, sorry. Oh. Ah, 11, 12, 13. If anyone's making a sh an attack on these two, go oh. ahead. I don't think I Dirty, 20. Yeah. Ah, uh, 24. Okay. And they fail again. Mm. Eight. Okay. For read shorts. 16. <laughs> yeah. You all hit. Oh. Oh. Okay, I don't hit. Uh, uh, Acapella just goes uh, and she gets a little bit itchy. She's like, ah, doink, doink. Okay. And she it ends up hitting the tree. <laughs> um, that's a seven from me. Damage. They're gone. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even need to roll oh, damage. They're between the... And just like that, they are completely... The first wave of where you are is completely annihilated. Um, perception rolls every one. Eek. 18. Nine. F uh, five. Twelve. Mm -hmm. Do you hear a little kind of like a joyous kind of, yeah, we did, oh, yeah, 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 like, so, uh, and amongst the troops kind of thing, do we? <laughs> yeah. 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 Jimmy, Jimmy, you still alive? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jimmy, you're, I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, we have some, some dice cleansing happening oh. over there. Am I the easier? No. Nah, he's been pretty well behaved so far. Yeah, uh, well, I got um, 18. Uh, Raylene. Yeah. So. Yeah. When I said this was the first hammer fall of the invasion, mm -hmm. it was not the only one. Yes. <gasps> so, from from where you are, mm -hmm. it slopes down to Dolgan a little bit, and the river kind of um, goes from south heading north. You can see that on either side of you that their orc, the orc forces have been attacking at other places, and the guards are. Um, Trying to fight. They're trying to fight. Mm. But what was your perception roll? It was pretty good, right? 18. 18, great. There's something hap there's something at some movement at the river. What's the movement? What do you mean by movement? Well, there's a like a a a barge <laughs> or something that is but it doesn't look like it has any people on it, just a single barge that's going down the river towards Dolligan. How far is that, the river, um, to where we are? Well, it's a smallish town. It's about 300 meters away from you. Um, uh, Acapella is like looking around like me, like, yeah, we did our wave, and then she sees it, and she goes, uh, and the closest person to her is Book. It's Jimmy. <laughs> uh, she sees Jimmy and she's like, no. <laughs> uh, and he's like, good job, Jimmy. Uh, hey, oh, actually, and and even, oh, actually, I shout out to Lona, who is on the rock. Yep. It's like, hey, Lona, do you see that on the river? 
You mean the big floating thing? Yeah. Guys, there's something going on over the river. Right? Whoa, what happened to my voice? River. <laughs> How big is this barge? Quite, quite large? Like, yeah, it's... Uh, barges are usually quite large and flat, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, For yeah. carrying um, and cargo. It, you know, they're slow-moving cargo vessels. Mm -hmm. that was very and Lorna definitely can't see anything on top of it. No. Best perception roll was Hakapella. Uh, Hakapella. 12 Nimrod was not good enough. Hakapella joins, uh, joins up the rock to see if there's anything mm. there. Get, I, I'm gonna get on your shoulders. Okay. <laughs> What's a barge doing floating? <laughs> 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 oh, she's hanging. She's hanging. <laughs> I'm doing one arm today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just to chase Keeping the ready. string. I do it just because I'm gonna intimidate Book. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah um, I, orcish tactics. Do you think that there's something on it? Do you think they're gonna light it up and there's a bunch of like dynamite? Or there could be something traveling. Hey, Book. <laughs> um, I call out to Book. Book, what do you think of this? Um, she comes up there as well and says, uh, I, I don't know what to think other than there's a barge there. It could be something. It could be nothing. It's like a Trojan horse. It, feel, it feels, it feels like a, yeah. We're being distracted think, right now. You, this is like got parallels with a, with a story that you've read or something. Yes. It's got parallels with the story I read. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> in the library, it's when they send in a horse, and the horse had people in it. And I think that barge has people in it, or weaponry. And I think we either destroy it, destroy it. But if we destroy, destroy, <laughs> destroy it, if we destroy it, it might explode and then cause more damage. I look at book, mm -hmm. book, 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 and I ask her, you, you, um, you, you know, you're Kashasha. Mm -hmm. well, well, who are you? My God. I, <clears throat> I have trained to be at one with Koshasha. I have, in our, our temple at the stronghold, I have trained all my life. So you can fight pretty amazingly without a weapon. That's incredible. I'm going to hold on to your axe if that's okay. I don't need the axe. It just looks good. Mm. I agree. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, okay. We, do we, we, can we get some more information on how far away is the next invasion? Slash, what should we do next? <laughs> can we ask? Them? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's book. <laughs> we've, ta we've taken care. We've taken care of our way. Yeah. We need to trust that the rest of the troops in the stations are gonna take care of theirs. But not trust the barge. Yes. We, we've we've spotted something that mm -hmm. is. An anomaly. Yes. Yeah. Um, let's head over to the barge. Uh, I look. Uh, Hakabella looks at Jimmy. Jimmy, you and your pals, you can keep this area station. All right, Jimmy. There's only two. There's only me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good you're luck, gonna do Jimmy. something. Jimmy, you're gonna do something. Jimmy, you'll be fine. But, but two orcs with like really big bows it, just went hey, that Jimmy, way. Just yeah, get, we killed them. Remember? I'll give you guidance. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's a one d four. And Jimmy, here, here, take some Molotov cocktails. Here's two for you. All right, I still got some here. All right, and here's some matches. All right, I'm Daniel's boy. Jimmy. Daniel was always, you know, yeah. Yeah. Stay no, in the no one's ever got anything past him. Yeah. So yeah. stay in the tree, Jimmy. Yeah. Stay yeah. on lookout. Here you go. With flaming bottles. <laughs> yeah. They're not on right now. Don't worry. Yeah. I, I've given you some matches to light them up with some flint and stone. Exactly. All right. All right. You're, gonna do, you're gonna do so good, Jimmy. They're gonna write about you, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Yep. Jimmy, the hero of Dolligan. Wow, yes. it well, sounds good, right? And he's beaming focused. with joy. So, um, <laughs> Jim um, Beam. We've got, um, I asked the Bamba Lamb for horses. Uh, you got horses if you want them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right. <laughs> Don't break Have these. you got a horse? Sorry. Oh, no, no, that's all. Do you have a horse for Book? Um, she can ride on my horse. Okay. <laughs> She climbs on the back of your horse. She's right oh. behind you. <laughs> and you rush into this into the city. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. As you're riding, Book, Book says to you, Nimrod, your name's Nimrod, yes? Yes. Hmm. Interesting name. I've never heard this name before. Are Are you Are you Sully's mate? <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you asking? <laughs> I've, I've noticed the way that you look at him is a little different than the way that you look at Lona. 
Well, none of smells. Nimrod just is like just touching her like little sword in her back pocket. <laughs> Why do you know Sally previously? No, I have never met him. I am impressed by him. Well, what? <laughs> He's not that impressive. <laughs> well, on a scale of one to ten, how would you rate him? Well, first of all. <laughs> He doesn't have, he's not as, as handsome as Lona. <laughs> Nimrod, <laughs> Nimrod just got, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, go on, keep telling your lies. <laughs> <laughs> but he has, he has mana. He has kind of leadership. Well, look, let me tell you something about Sully. He, I've heard now, I've heard through the great pride yes. that he doesn't really like orcs. Now me, I don't have a problem with orcs. In fact, I think you're really pretty and I'm very strong. Hmm. And, <laughs> but Sully, <laughs> I've heard him talk very badly about orcs. So if you're gonna form an opinion about Sully, it could probably be a bad one. Okay, if, if it, it may please you, she's gonna make an insight. <laughs> oh. Sorry. <laughs> she says, I think I understand. <laughs> and it, it may please you to know that among my people I am considered unfavored in appearance. Oh. Same. Mm. I'm purple. I actually like your green color. Sometimes I wish I could turn green and then I could hide in the trees. Mm. It has advantages. I don't want to say that we should be friends, so I'm not going to say it. <laughs> and then Hakabala's just looking at the, the two but homies over here, mm -hmm. and then uh, Nimrod, and now a new orc friend, and she says, I miss Bok Bok. <laughs> <laughs> Dare I say, do I miss Toran? No, no, no. Ah, bastard. <laughs> I Lona just is looking over at a book and just like really admiring the definition in her, uh, her shoulders. Yeah. It's just like, oh. <laughs> I whispered to her book. I'm like, you should throw something at Lona. <laughs> he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> the, the barge. <laughs> 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 That's the eternal thought. That's a, yeah. The barge. Mm -hmm. Has um, has moved into out of sight as it goes beyond the first buildings into Doligan. Oh. Oh. Out of sight. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you guys, you reach the outskirts of Doligan. Mm. Your horses can go through the alleyways, but remember, I said it's really narrow, mm. single file. Mm. Yeah. What's the plan? We're going straight to, I'm going straight to the barge. Yeah. That yeah. looks like the place to be. Yeah, yeah. Heading straight towards where the barge is. Yeah. Just riding beyond, defensively. Yeah. Just be on alert because mm. we're single file. Yeah, they, they can are. pick us up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Heading towards the barge. The barge is, takes you to a part of the, of the city. Yes. <laughs> I don't know or what. River? Push up. Yeah. Yes. Oh, uh, river, 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 yeah, river, yeah. river, 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 river. Oh. Oh yeah. Lift, lift please. Now it's that London Bridge. River. Nice. Okay. River. River. <laughs> okay. River. River. <laughs> How many times can we say river? River. 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 Phoenix. Rancho Should we get that flat barge out? Liver. Liver Phoenix. We've got that birdie? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And we've got a large barge. Large barge. Large barge. Large barge, large barge, barge in the river. Charge. Large barge. <laughs> hey, I get to use it twice in one day. Oh, yeah. Large barge. Yeah. Is that what it says on the side? Large, large barge. barge. Large barge. Large barge. Large barge. Hashtag large barge. Large barge. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. Hashtag large barge. Again, please. The river is blue as mine. Thank you. Great. Okay. <laughs> you reach the... Um, there is a narrow street. Mm. Yeah. Oh, this is a distraction. I hate book. What? <laughs> I don't know. I don't trust her. Narrow street. 
Who's at the Meryl front? Meryl Streep. Oh, sorry. Meryl <laughs> Streep. <laughs> 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 Meryl Streep. <laughs> <laughs> Sally will be in front. Need these? Yeah. If you can start. Meryl Streep. Do you want it to go yeah. this way? Yeah, that's cool. Todd Capella will take the rear. Rear, rear. Yep, that's all good. I want an opening, an opening as well. That will do. Yep. Cool. Great. Perfect. Um, actually, let's have these be attached. Yep. If you can put them there. Nice. Okay. Wow. Look at us go. Yeah. Okay. Who's first? Me. All right. Um, you can see that the um, the barge. Has b- is being emptied out, and <coughs> there are there are orcs that have come onto the land. <gasps> Good that we went. Is it uh, overtaking? Mm. Wow! Big boy! Big, big boy! Big boy! Big boy! Ooh. <laughs> it's the filthiest looking sword ever. Yeah. And an axe. Okay, Sully, <clears throat> you're usually at the front. Yeah. I'm assuming you're at the front? Yep. Can you put yourself... Uh, are we here? You're in there. Are we there. in A-team order? Yeah. A-team order on a horse though, so two gaps two gaps between you. I actually, I'm going to take this roof off so I can see. Cool, mm-hmm. that's fine. Uh, yeah. I think Hakapella wants to go at the back, right? I can, uh, yeah, I can take roof. Oh, Hakapella goes at the back? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. I mean, it's up to you two, I oh, guess. No, no, no. Don't put Lona Lund- Lund- second. No Lona second? Oh, Lund- oh, yeah, no, no, no. I don't know what What's the usual order? Um, it usually depends Lona's on the in the back, but yeah. yeah. I reckon Orc should go behind um, Sally. Fast, fast, fast. And then you're in the middle. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, cute. Great. <laughs> okay. <Do that>. Yep. <laughs> um, they had heard your your horse, your horse is coming, mm. and this orc here is literally frothing ah. at mouth. Works has worked himself up into a frenzy. The moment you come into this alleyway, arrows are unleashed. Oh, brother! Sally <laughs> turtles down. Both miss you, but this orc here, this orc here goes one, two, three, four, five, six, and tackles you on your horse. Oh, Oh. good luck. He grabs you, strength rolls to see if you stay on your horse. Come on, come on. Um, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I mean, it's inspiration. Oh! Mm, oh inspiration is better. First, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Oh! 24. <laughs> okay. 24. He's grabs. <laughs> he's grabbing onto you. Mm. Okay. Uh, the orc on the barge jumps off. <laughs> they all jump off. Mm-hmm. He says something in Orcish. None of you understand Orcish yet. Two, three, yeah. four, yes. five, six, and disappears from view. The other orcs just form a, a living barricade. Whoa. This one jumps back over to come back to where you are. Okay. Raylene, you're out of sight. I'm out of sight, but I just say, what's up there? <laughs> ah! All right. Um, uh, bardic inspiration for but, uh, uh, Nimrod because she's yeah. knees up there. But I was like, Nimrod, don't let them hurt Sully. I know you love him. Um, <laughs> well, I know it's Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Lorna wants the um uh, has already in this uh, time tied his horse to the end of the horse of a book, and he's going to stand on his horse and make his and shift himself onto a, a roof because he wants a bit, a bit of vantage point, so he just allows his horse to go along with the team. Okay. And then Lorna climbs on, um, and he wants to hit, can I, how many steps can you I You need take? to make an acrobatics or an athletics roll. Okay. Nice. Ah! Please do. <laughs> oh, no, athletics come roll, come on. 13 plus. You're good at it too. So 
Yep, plus two. Fifteen. Okay, place yourself where you want to be. Sweet. Okay. How many right, steps buddy. can I take? Um, right. That will count that as two movements, so you can take another four maps. Two, three. I, can I be? Can yeah. I, can you want to be there? there? Yep. Sure. Okay. Nice. Nice. Sweet. I yep. can't attack there, right? Is it my go? Uh, or can I? You've only moved. You've only moved. Moved. So Sweet. And then Lorna, can he see him or is he vanished off? Uh, he's hidden behind a, a building. Sweet. All right. Can Lorna see any of these guys yeah, from there? Yeah, you can there? see all the others. All right. Lorna just wants to plan. Um, he's going to use his, one of his sorcery points um, and split uh, yeah, his firebolts between. Let's go for these two. Nice. Okay. You're right. 19 Ooh. plus 6, that's a 24. Yep, you hit. Sweet. 25. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, true. What a confident 24. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's obviously a 24. Um, oh, there you go. Uh, 14. Which one? Uh, let's go hit the dude with the big hammer, please. Yeah, and it is gone. 14. Oh, nice. And Bro. next one. We've got. Did you roll the hit first? Oh, it's a hit. Mm-hmm. 12 plus 6, that's 18. Yep, that's Sweet. easy. Uh, two and a four, six. Okay. Thank you. Stupish! <sighs> and the orc in front of him takes the spear of Stock Divana. Mm-hmm. Um, that is 17. Nice. Okay. Sure. Yep. And. Okay. The, the, the hit? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great. Um, that is a seven. Okay. And I, um, assuming he's still up. He's still up. I attack again. Put you up, you up. That is a 17. Okay. And um, this much damage. 10. Okay. Stab. And moving your horse forward or not? Yeah, it depends on if he's alive or not. He's alive. Ah. Yeah. Um, okay. And he comes along with you. Oh, because oh, he's grabbed on. Yeah, he's, he's holding on mm-hmm. to you and you're going, <laughs> stabbing. Okay, cool. oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nimrod's turn. Get off. You're in the horse directly behind. Yeah, so I come in. Can I like jump off the horses in action? Can I go one, two, three, four, five, six? Six, yeah, you can get there and then dis- dismount the horse. But that would that be an action? Um, what are you wanting to do? Well, I want to use my sword, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. my axe. Right. Can you use it on Your horse. best, if you want to use the axe. Can I just stay on the horse? Stay on the horse. Yeah. Okay, well, she has to come with me because she's on my horse. <laughs> okay, so I look at this guy in front of Sully and I touch my, yep, that guy right there. I touch my mm-hmm. uh, fire amulet and I light up my big axe. Oh, yeah. The big, the big axe that you've yeah. got. Is now. it the great axe? Uh huh. So that's. Um, Can you hold it one handed? Well, I have She's double strength. Double, yep, yeah, ball strength. Oh, for an hour. Strength. Yeah. Yeah, ball strength. Double pairing. Advantage on strength, double capacity. Okay, we'll look into this rules wise later, but for drama reasons, go ahead. Yeah, nice. Yeah, let's All go. Right. I, buy it. I take it. Yeah. Beautiful. 19. Beautiful. Oh, uh, you don't get advantage on your attacks. You don't get advantage. Advantage on strength checks? Strength no, checks, yeah. not attacks. Oh, so you have to sorry. re-roll, sorry, because I don't know if it was a 9, a nine or a 4. <laughs> a 16. 16! Nice. nice. The flaming axe uh, comes right. down. Yes. What's, the, what's the damage? What does it say? It's a 1d12. So 1d12 plus 3d6. Plus 2d6. Ooh. Oh my goodness, nice. I don't want that better. Let's go. Let's go. Seven. Beautiful. 5 and 6 is? 18. 18. And then? I, ah, the orc in front of you dist- is destroyed ah, underneath fire the axe to the fire. Face. Then I pull out my spiritual weapon. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, oh, that's wow. a bonus action, and you've already bonus action to turn uh, your to flame. turn the thing oh. on flaming. Oh. Nice. Sorry, thank you. Yeah, well, great. Sh- okay. <laughs> Huckabella! Huckabella's way at the back. Yeah. Um, book? No. Uh, book. Yeah. Book. We'll go at the beginning of the next round. Sweet. Two arrows come for Nimrod. Bring it. Oh, no. First one gets a 17. Hit. Second one gets a 20. Hit. Oh. You take a total of 10 points of damage. Mm-hmm. And that orc stays where it is because it's um, happy. 
One, <laughs> two, three, <laughs> four, five. Say yeah. Six. I don't know if you're still in frame. Okay. Um, and then those are those guys. This the one on you again mm. tries to pull you off of the horse again. Oh. Make a strength check. Sure. Oh. Nah. 17. Um, uh, so I've got 8 plus 6 is 14. I'm going to use the magic dice. Yeah. Uh, 20. Ah, no, nice. he can't do it. <laughs> no, no, no. Nice. And so he lets go, seeing that this isn't working. And with his second action, he pulls his his weapon around on you, a no! big blade, and swings for you. Sure. And gets a glorious eight. Miss. Okay. It hits my my plate mailed knee. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This orc here. This knee. Steps <laughs> to the side of your horse's head, mm-hmm. and also. Strikes at you. Nice. With a blade. Oh my goodness. Uh, eight. Miss! <laughs> Out of knee. <laughs> Just deflecting them with my knees. Could you Seeing that things are the a bit different than he had planned, the orc leader climbs up <gasps> here. Okay. Hard play. You can play, huh? Sees Lona. Yep. Takes out an axe <laughs> and throws an axe at you. <laughs> 16. 16, that's a hit. <laughs> Six. Oh. Six. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, and he's right yeah. up in your face. Lona, 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 Lona takes, a, t- takes an X. <laughs> ah! But I'm still alive. Oh. I'm still alive. <laughs> now, here's a time where I want to mention. Um, we need to do ranged attacks. But someone is right up next to you. Yep. Your attacks are at disadvantage. Oh, oh I swear to yeah. gosh, I thought you were about to say, this guy is wearing sandals. <laughs> 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 okay, so so your range attacks on this person is going to be at disadvantage. All right. Um, um, Book's turn. Okay. Book. Get him, Book. <laughs> Book him. Book says. <laughs> <laughs> Book, Book says. Uh, jumps off your horse and says, um, he looks like he's in the frenzy. What? Frenzy? What the hell? And starts wailing on the large orc that has been attacking Sully. Uh-huh. Doing her <gasps> three, 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 whack. Oh, he's in a rage. Mm, yes. She only lands one blow. Ooh. He seems like he's not taking a lot of damage, guys. Ah, mm. I see, I see. Mm. He's... <laughs> and it is Hakapella's turn. You're uh, way let's go, Hakapella. Uh, Hakapella goes bra, bra, bra in. Bra, bra, One, bra. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> eleven. You can get all the way there with just your movement if you want to. What are you wanting to do? Uh, cool. Um, yeah, because I'm on my horse still. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I get there and I have, oh. <laughs> and <coughs> as I'm t- I've got the Molotov cocktail and I just throw it e- to just back here. Just okay. A rainbow shot. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Here we go. Oh, that's an eight plus two ten. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a scatter diagram. Oh. We're gonna do a scatter to see which way it misses. Oh, okay. 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 So you're aiming for about here, right? Yeah. So uh, uh, we're going to see if it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. You with me? Yes. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't roll a six. Two. Oh, my goodness. One, two, it goes too far. Ah. And it goes splash, splash there and into the water and onto the Uh, bar. Yeah. Uh, Hakabala curses and dwarvish and is a bonus action. She. Does anyone need healing? No? Okay, cool. Uh, Never mind. She just goes, ah, (laughs) no. Nuts on a butt. Um. (laughs) Nuts on a butt. (laughs) Ah, uh, not fun. Oh, I swan. Let's, let's just see it. And, uh, okay, great. Um, I missed a couple of the orcs' turn. 
Oh. Didn't oh. I? Mm, those two back there. And then, right? Yeah. He said he, no, he stays there because he was happy. But yeah, um, yeah. I didn't say they attacked. And yeah. I, no. I didn't do either the orc archers and yep. I didn't do this one. Yeah. Uh, fine, okay. fine, fine. Orc archers both shoot Nimrod. <laughs> one gets a 15. And the other gets a critical failure. <laughs> oh, nice! Oh. <laughs> okay. This one um, grabs some stuff from over here. Oh. A jar of fire beetles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Lona, so. Oh, actually, as a bonus action, uh, I look over to Lona and I'm like, yes. Lona, you are so much cooler than that ugly thing in front of you. Hey, yeah. Thanks. Bardic inspiration. Nice. Just, like nice. my bardic inspiration, just compliments. <laughs> <laughs> and Luna, Luna looks at this, and did you say dis- a disadvantage to my attacks, is that disadvantage right? Disadvantage to your attack. Uh, Luna looks at this big beast. How fragile is the is the roof that he's standing on? <laughs> can I, I want to fire bolt it, in other words, <laughs> so he can fall straight through. Okay. Okay. So how, how the construction of these are is the, the roof itself is not stone. Mm-hmm. They use wooden beams. Perfect. Which are, which are then covered with like a hardened mud. Oh. So it's not very flammable. Oh. Right? Okay. It's not yeah. very flammable. Um, but I can jump on it like kind of thing. You're trying to, you're trying to. Break. So you're trying to break it. Uh. Magic missile yeah. is force. Okay. But magic uh-huh. missile is not f- it. And. Oh, and magic missile, irrespective of advantage or disadvantage, never misses. Never, never misses. Okay, I'm going to magic missile them. <laughs> you, know. <laughs> you don't have to roll. That's you just sweet. roll your roll the yeah. damage. Are you doing it on him or the roof? Um, I'm going to do it on him. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, go for it. Hopefully. Oh, so magic oh, missile, missile is, is what's ma- you haven't used it for a while. D4, D4, D4 is four. this Decent three or four D4s? Mm-hmm. Three D4s. Three D4s. Because our one of our Wonderful Two, patrons, three, Mary Adolf, four, five, gave six. you those extra dice. Nice. Six. Plus one for on each of them. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nice. nice. Right. There we go. Ooh. 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 Okay, that's the first damage it's, he's taken. <laughs> Dude, you haven't done nothing to him. <sighs> Sully. And I was like, ha <laughs> Boink. <laughs> <laughs> Sully. Yep, my turn. Um, um, he looks um, down at the frenzied um, um, sort of orc. Yes. And he says, you know what we do with rabbit dogs. Oh! Oh! Um, <laughs> that one was an uh, 12. <laughs> 12. Oh, I get advantage. Thank goodness. Because you're on your horsey. Like horsey. 13. <laughs> <laughs> 13 don't do nothing. Nah. Mm. And look, sometimes it's hard to put down a dog because you form an emotional attachment to them. <laughs> but eventually, you've got to do the job. Yes. 24. No. That, nice. does, that does hit. <laughs> um, I apply um, a superiority die to it yes. um, to do some extra damage. Um, and I'm going to use pushing attack. Okay. Hey, um, so that is um, 9 plus, um, that is 15. Total of 15. Yeah. Mm. And if he fails the strength save, then I can push him back 15 feet. Because he's enraged, he gets advantage on strength. Oh, checks. we need to sneak the orc. <sighs> what does he need to get? He needs to beat 13. He does beat 13. Oh. Okay. Do you know what? Mm. It's like he doesn't feel the pain. Ah. Oh, no. <laughs> what are these orcs on? Nimrod. What the hell? All right, she's gonna take out some archers. She runs. A one, two, three, four. What do you? Would you? Would you? Would you? Uh, can I? How, are we still in, thinking that I can still use this battle axe? That's on, yeah, 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 fine. yeah. We've decided you can use the battle axe for now until I figured out the rules <laughs> properly. Fabulous. Oh, eleven. What do I add to this? My strength? Mm-hmm. Your strength and uh, proficiency. No, you're not proficient. You're not a proficient in it, but you're strength. 12, 13. 13, you needed a 14. Oh. Oh. Have I still got my spiritual weapon? Yeah. Is it out? No, you, you went to, but you actually did a different bonus action. That's right, spiritual weapon bonus okay. action. A terrible roll. Six. No. No. No, things aren't going well for you. Um, and. Oh, no. The, the leader orc, Darkoom, 
Then I yell with him. Head of the tribe. You're Darkhoon. <laughs> Darkhoon swings for Lona. Yeah. He's going to be knocked off the roof, isn't he? Ding. Eight. Oh, it doesn't hit! Yeah! <gasps> Lona nice. slightly ducks, but still nips his ear. Oh. Swing number two. Oh. Well, oh, yeah, no! I'm a <laughs> oh, ah, That one hurt a little bit. <sighs> yes. The archer in front of Nimrod drops its bow, pulls out a short sword, and Ooh. breaks it across your face and gets a 21. Oh, no. Eight points of damage. And then Nimrod's wow. his. What the hellish rebuke are you doing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> she just like. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Tin tin. But I will take eight. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> oh, do you? Sorry. You have to make a. So you a, make a saving roll. Is it a deck save? What's the save? It's a. It's a. Um, it doesn't matter. It's a, it's a <laughs> matter. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, that's just a simple six. Simple's <laughs> 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 good. Uh, they were tens, eh? Okay, the archer on yeah. you gets covered <laughs> in this hellish flame, but it is not gone. It's okay. Um, the archer over here can't get a clean shot at. He's gonna take a shot at Hakapella. Yeah. Like, oh. Yeah. Chooses a different target oh, yeah, and gets a fourteen. Uh, miss. Hakapella ducks. We. Okay, mm. the barge. Over here is has caught on flame, mm -hmm. caught on fire, mm -hmm. because of you. This orc here grabs something, puts it in the fire, in some like a bundle of cloth, catches a light and she hurls it. What? Is she you throwing guys. Molotovs? At yeah, us? she's using oh. her fire against us. Damn it! I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> and she rolls a one. She, oh, she burns herself. She burns herself. <laughs> she, ah! she drops it in the barge. <laughs> and is it on fire? <laughs> and there's a whole pile of these kind of flaming balls. Oh, things no. that they're gonna, oh no! And yes. all of them just burst <laughs> into ah! flame. Yeah. Like oh my idiot. god. <laughs> Stupid. And the bard That'll just... That'll teach you to play with fire. <laughs> <laughs> this is a flame. Okay. Uh, an orc in front of Sully. Mm -hmm. Attacks with a cutlass kind of thing. Oh, why am I... I'm just getting terrible rolls. 13. Chink. It just takes it on his nice. breast. <laughs> the, the fury, because that's what they call these guys, the mm. fury. Uh -huh. His first attack, he spits some work, word in Orcish, which must be a curse, oh. and turns towards Book. Oh. And hits her hard. Uh. Oh. Careful, Book. Oh, no. Okay. And second blow for Book as well mm. misses. Yes. Book has now taken quite a bit of damage. If you remember, she took some damage before, and none of you got, you guys haven't done any healing yet. Mm. Ooh, okay, mm. Book's turn. She doesn't seem to be phased by it, and she retaliates. She doesn't care. Come on, Book. She retaliates in Book. kicking, punching, and whacking with this stick that she has. <gasps> I rolled a d12 instead of a d20. She lands three of her, t her, her four. Nice, Ooh. nice. At, on the fury. Um, does a truckload of damage. Nice. Yeah. What? Cool. He is still up. He he's is still up. What the? And heck? he's just, the foam is dripping out of his mouth. He's got he's in bruise, he's got, he's got cuts all over him. And that is their turn. Mm -hmm. Hakapella. Hakapella. Um, bra 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 over here. One, two, three, four. Faces this way. Does uh, casts fear. Blue cheese. Um, to go that way, thirty feet cone. Yeah, great. Um, nice. To catch those two in there and okay. make a wisdom saving throw. And what's the difficulty? Uh, difficulty. What's the what's the what's your DC? What's your spell DC? Oh yeah. I think uh, it's like fourteen, right? The yeah, six and four, fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Nice. This is. 
So the one that you cast fear on right in front of Sully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah! His eyes do, uh, his <laughs> teeth go out. That's ah! right! That's right! It's blue cheese! Ah! <laughs> but also blue cheese! That killed your mom. Oh. The fury. <laughs> oh, dang, girl, get him. The fury. Yeah. In this enraged state, mm -hmm. has advantage against fear. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Okay. Because he is. Ah, I didn't think. Oh, yeah. Fear embodied. You know what it is. He. He's not. He does not, not work, flinch at all. Wow. Well, uh, wait, 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 which one? Does was this that one react? Good That's the fury. That. The fury does not react. But this one has to run this away. This one the next on turn. its turn will run yeah. away. Oh. All right. Um, <laughs> and uh, as a bonus action, uh, Acapella doesn't want to do them, and she doesn't. And she looks at um, she looks at books, uh, kind of worn down state, and she goes. Heal book, we kind of need you right now. Heal book, uh, 1d4. Plus three. Oh, nice. uh, you get a spicy four. <laughs> oh, nice. Spicy okay, that helps four. her. <laughs> that definitely helps her, for oh, sure. Okay, there you go. Lona, you've got the chi the you've got Darkum himself uh, right in front uh, of you. He is strong. Um, Lona looks at Darkum, and the image of old sea captain guy comes back into his mind kind of thing, and he just like, oh, yeah. Ducks down and punches him in the gonads, <laughs> but he was a fireballer at the same time. Nice. Like, zing, fireball! Get him. Ah. At disadvantage. At disadvantage. That's a thirteen. My disadvantage Ooh. is four. Yeah. By the way, you can always make a disadvantage just normal if you use your inspiration. Can I? Uh huh. Can I use it now? Yeah, and I'll take the thirteen. Okay. Only because I'm kind. Ah. And then No, no, you took. So okay, we'll, we'll keep your, your first roll. Sweet. That means get rid of your advantage and then roll damage. Okay, the damage is the 2d10. Seven. Right, and remember, you've got sorcery points. I can. Can I use sorcery points and what can I do? Help me sorcery do? points, you can re-roll. Definitely. Your, your empowered one means you can re-roll any dice that you want. Yep. Or twinned, you can. I'll roll twinned. So, sorry, uh, twin has to be two different people. Okay. Ah. So I think so re just, just, just the empowered one, re-roll re -roll the damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. nice. It's a bit better. Yeah. Thirteen. Okay. Oh, so you, okay. It's supposed to be the three D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. You sm yeah, sm smoke <laughs> this. You, you smoke him in the gonads. That's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get him going. That's pretty nice. nuts. <laughs> He's hurt. Oh yep. Um, okay, great. He's looking down at this um, frenzied thing and he sees Book taking a few hits. Um, so he's going to try and just... Um, okay, so first of all, he um, he attacks on his horse. Um, a stab. Stabby, stabby. Um, it is... Uh, oh, gosh, it's a 12. Not eh. good. You don't, you don't hit him. Yeah. He moves out of your way. He's quite... Life. Is that the word? Yeah. For, for a big fella. No, oh, you're rather life. Um, <laughs> great. 22. The nice. second shot hits for sure. Yeah, okay, great. And um, he's going to apply another superiority dice. Cause I think you need to because this guy still does not look like he is. I'm not underestimating not... this guy. Yeah. Um, so that is a 15. Nice. Whoosh. Okay. Um, and um, again, he's trying another pushing attack um, with that superiority dice. So Okay, he gets advantage against this. Yeah. Um, against uh, DC 13. Not even close. He <laughs> is uh, an orcish wall of strength. Um, and, so, and then he just tries bashing him with his um, shield. Um, again, um, uh, DC strength 13, I think it is. To, uh, I'm trying to shove him. You shove him and it works. Great. Um, so um, he just pushes his shield in and um, he catches him square in the chest and he's just trying to knock him to his feet now. Boosh. Do you push him back or just on um, Just on the ground. I can choose between pushing him back or okay, making him Which means prone. people have advantage uh, against him. Okay. Nimrod, right. you have an archer in front of you that you hurt but is still up. I actually forgot it was 3d10 that I was meant to roll. So what I'll quickly do is roll one more d10. Okay. Damage. That's an extra four. That, yep, you only did six last time, so yeah. it's still up. That's sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, <laughs> now with my flaming axe, it's flaming still on axe, fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. the old swing. Boom! I'm going to use... No, I'm not going to use them for this one. Uh, it's a 8, 9, 10. It's a miss. Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action 
to try and light up my spiritual weapon okay. again. But can I use inspiration on this rock? Your spiritual weapon is still there. I don't think I've successfully I rolled it. it. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. You missed, but you, you still cast it. You still cast it, you just missed oh. last time. Oh, okay, so, great. It's, so it's up, so right. you can just... Just okay. roll to see if you hit, but you don't get advantage on it. Oh, unless you're using your advantage. Yeah, 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 your inspiration, sure. 15. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yep, yes, okay. What was it again? I think it's a D8 plus your spellcaster ability. Mm -hmm. Nice. Seven. Uh, and three is my spellcaster. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Eight, 19. Okay, do you want to describe what happens as, as it's destroyed? <laughs> yes, well, I try and fling my mess and my <laughs> axe and I miss and he laughs. Well, what is <laughs> <it>? <laughs> I see that as he opens his mouth. <laughs> 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 I see that as he opens his mouth. And he, he falls into the river behind. That's called a distraction! Time <laughs> <laughs> for you to cool down. Okay, nice, 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 <laughs> nice. nice. Um, Lorna, yes. you in big, big yeah, trouble. Yeah, I shouldn't have stayed oh, up on the roof, eh? Dark Hooms, blade number one for you. Miss! No. Nah. Twelve. Miss! Yes! Huh. And blade oh, number two. Oh it's really playing. What is it? Twelve! Ah! Oh, and Lord, no. just like, Lord, in, the, in the middle of it's like matrixing. <laughs> He's like, I can't believe he's doing that. Like, I'm oh. doing what? Oh. What's up? He still has the Sword of Artai with him, eh? You have the Sword of Artai with you. <laughs> I just remembered that. Okay. Okay. Oh, what Which I always like feels that? alive in your hand whenever you Goblin. hold it Goblin. in your hand. Am I allowed to draw it? No, On your turn, turn. No, you right. can. Oh, okay, okay. Nimrod. Hello. Archer. Turns to you. You're the most. You're the easiest target. Ah, uh, five. <laughs> I'll make eye contact with him. I just like shake my head. <laughs> you can see sure, the orc's face that. kind of. Yeah. Hey, go, <laughs> and he runs. Oh no! <laughs> Is he gonna run? Can, I, can I roll for an intimidating shake? <laughs> oh sure, go ahead. <laughs> It's, a six. it's not that intimidating. <laughs> he goes. He just kind of grabs his next arrow for the next turn. <laughs> um, this orc in front of Sully flees. Oh. You can have an opportunity attack if you wish. Uh, no. Two, three, four, five, six. Can you move? Gone, and, and it's gone. And this, the one that fell down. Is he prone for his whole turn? No, nah, he can get up. He gets up. Well, <laughs> Takes half his movement to get up, but. All right. Okay, he gets up. So no one got to attack him that while he was down. What a pity. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's okay, that's okay. And, um. Mmm. Mm. Ooh, he's going to go for Book. Oh, oh no. He gets a natural 20. What? Oh, oh dear. It was cool. Eight plus, plus others. And he has boot. to make another wisdom saving throw if he gets up, because he's still in range. Oh, should we field. do that first? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> nice. He's he has wrong. advantage against. Mm -hmm. He still has to do it. <laughs> <laughs> may help, it may help. Inconvenient. Don't know, where, where can we yeah. do that? It right. can be visible. Right. <gasps> oh! Ten. He gets advantage against it, and the highest he rolls is a, is a, is a six. six. <laughs> so he is, he stands up, he looks, fear overcomes him, yeah. and, and he turns, and Everyone's he, so nice to you now. Ooh. So he's, he stands up. There's cute puppies around, that's what scares you, huh? He's about to attack Book, and then he realizes the blue cheese. <laughs> And he turns. He's taking over me. And he runs. And now he... Sally lunges over his face. As does Boot. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Mm. Is Book up? Yes. So he. So thanks to Raylene. Not Raylene. Yeah. That minutes. happened before we had a momentary Speaking. reversal of like, time. Hey, Wait a minute. <laughs> I like it. Are your pals combined? Eighteen. And Book gets a 22. <laughs> oh! <laughs> we combine our Get attacks. <laughs> she, um, I, I like lunge low with a spear, and then she jumps off my spear. <laughs> sure, yeah. why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you want big damage. All right, fine. Although he's not die. showing it, he's actually hurt. Superiority die, here it comes. 
Um, oh, um, I got a 14. Oh. She gets a 9. Ooh. 14 plus 9, 23. Yeah. Divide by 2. Oh, um, it's 12. 12. Oh, you're 12. Takes him to 52 hit points. Damn. He is still up. Oh. Is he holding anything? Is he He's running at the moment. Okay. He has to drop it. <laughs> he drops his weapons. He One, two, three, four, mm-hmm. five, six. He, I know he's out of frame for our audience. I'm sorry, he's running along the riverside. Lona, Lona. you have got... No, we've done all of them. That yeah. is their entire turn. Yeah. Cool. It's Book's turn. Go Book. Book takes out from a pouch these lo- pieces of wood with um, their darts. Oh. Large, big, and goes... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and four of them fly through the air. <laughs> Towards the fleeing <gasps> fury. Yes. Him. One, yes. two, first one misses, second one, two hit. Yes. Two <laughs> hit. <laughs> the dart doesn't do a lot of damage. But, but is it poison? But it's the thought that counts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Three plus things and a four plus things, and the fury is impaled in the back twice and falls dead to the ground. No way! Ah, chicken. That was Book's turn. Nope. No, and she moves. One, two, three. She has a spe- She can like, like, get up without it costing extra movement. Oh! oh. Raylene. Um, Hakapala goes. Brap, brap, brap. One, two. She tries to jump off the horse to get onto the roof. Athletics. Let's go. Nice. Well, plus, I know I've got something for that. Athletics. Not acrobatics? Sure, why not? Yes, 12 plus 6 then. Nice. <laughs> yeah, 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 put yourself up there. <laughs> Boom. So, how many do I have left? So one, You've got two. two more. You can get up to them. Uh, two. Oh, we, two. Oh, we got them surrounded, two. yo. Yeah. Okay. Oh, is that flanking? It's not. If, if you move, then you're one. Um, and I uh, cast hold person! Free! Oh, nice! Nice. So that is. Your DC 14. He yeah. has to roll a 14. I rolled. A oh, oh, nine! nine. Ooh! And he, nine. Is, he is held. Uh, you uh-huh. cannot attack. Your attack on him does, is not at, at disadvantage, it is at. Advantage! Lona's turn. So Lona wants to move directly right there, so he's flanking, so advantage. Um, okay, sweet, so add advantage. No, no, you said you were going to get the sword out. Were you getting the sword out or not? Yes! Sorry, yeah, I am going to get the sword out and then shoo! Now, you had been practicing with this sword. This is a small moment. You had spent enough time practicing with the sword that you have become attuned to it. Oh! oh. All attacks with the sword are at plus two. Get out. Nice. Stand nice. do plus two damage. Ooh, ooh, I thought it was going to be a plus two. And. Yo, and. Your highest ability score mm-hmm. is increased by two. Oh, oh so everything's just plus two. Your plus charisma. Two. Your charisma. It's plus basically, two. Basically. Your charisma modifier, instead of being plus four, is now plus five while you are holding the sword. While you're holding the sword. Which means that you are now, if you hold that sword, any attacks with your magic is plus five, it's five, Mm -hmm. plus your proficiency, which is three. Mm -hmm. You've been doing plus six, you're actually on plus seven. That's nice. You're not on plus six, you're on plus seven. Okay, okay. But when you hold this sword, you are on a stonking plus eight. Jeez. Okay. That's the, real good. I guess a lot. I can and you feel alive in your hand. Okay. And if you attack him, you get crit damage. <laughs> from, from and so Lorna, Lorna just feeling As all of la- this surge in his arm. Just episode. like, and he looks at uh, big old, what's his, uh, what was his name? Darkoom. Darkoom. And I'm like, do I know his name yet? No, I don't know. And he's like, um, hey buddy, I'd like you to meet my Big old free nah! Ooh, and he just... Sally's watching from down there and he's like, why didn't you start? Why didn't you start? No. <laughs> <laughs> and as if he heard it, he's like, why didn't you start? Nah! You have advantage. He clenches okay. his butt oh, cheeks. Now, now, let's just get the numbers right. You're not proficient in it. No. no. So usually with the sword, you have a minus one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The plus two, 
It makes you have only a plus one. That's all you've got on it, but you have advantage. Okay. So you can roll it twice. twice. Okay, I'm gonna... Nine. I'll go with a 19. Plus one, one. roll it again, see if you get a 20. So there's a dirty 20 and... Okay. It's a six. And now what's the thing with the critical because he's on the hold? Yeah, he's It means, it means that Lorna does double damage. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, now, gotcha. are you holding it one-handed or two-handed? I'm going to go two-handed. Two-handed? Yeah, because Sally taught me <laughs> it's a lot stronger when two are working together. Yeah. Now, I think a long sword is versatile, right? Is that... Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So long sword you can wield in one hand or you can do two and do a d8 damage. I'll just check. I think a d... A, yeah, if you... I've check. got the weapons badge right here. It's up... Oh, d10. d10. That's what yeah. I thought. So two d10. Two d10s. Here comes, cool. the, here comes the damage. Six plus two, eight. Yeah. Plus two, two ten. ten. Mm. And it is enough. Oh, yes. <laughs> and Darkhoom falls down. Oh, oh, nice. There is only one orc left. Sully, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Riding your horse, yeah, yeah, yeah. jumping onto the flaming bar, onto and the then, flaming oh, bar, <laughs> and then across. Animal the handling. Okay, great. Uh, come on, come on, baby. Come on. Huh? I'm, no, I'm no stranger to a horse. Um, it's good. It is um, sixteen. Good enough. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you? That's, Exactly. Yep. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Um, um, yeah, and as he's flying across, he's bringing his spear in low. hey Attack! Okay. Oh yeah. Um, so that is a 15. Good enough. Oh. And then a blammo. That is a 12. <laughs> he's hurt, but not <gasps> gone. Mm. All right. Um, one more for good luck. Great. That is a 17. Yes. And wow. another seven points of damage. And is gone. Oh. Yeah. oh my goodness, you murdered that guy. <laughs> and all of the threats Good in girl. the same round, <laughs> the Fury, Darkhoom, are gone. Woo! <laughs> Good kill. Good kill. Right. Yes. <laughs> I was like, right. who is this big boy over here? And I hate his face. Oh, and she kind of kicks a Darkoom's face. <laughs> is this him, Shut Book? Up. Yes, and she he looks important. <laughs> All right, well, now that's out of the way. She holds her battle axe towards Book. <laughs> and she goes, you're still good? Are we, do we still trust you? You're not going to do anything funny? Book <laughs> is staring at Lona and staring at the sword. He's like, are you, are you okay? She puts the, the, um, the stick down and goes onto her knees and oh. holds her, her hands like this. Oh, well, I didn't mean to scare you that much. <laughs> are you right? This. What's wrong with you? Is it because of that guy? Don't worry, he's dead. We killed him. She says, I have heard of this sword. This sword is, we call it the Chieftain Slayer. It's the closest translation to your language. Yeah. I was gonna call her Jennifer, but all right, Chieftain Slayer sounds good. The ruby on the end of it is emitting a pulsing glow. Oh, I've never seen it do that before, Lorna. Yeah. Uh, Sully, Nimrod, come on over! I reckon Sully both points with Nimrod. <laughs> and, and then he turns to the, to the history buff for the team, and he's like, the original four wielders of the sword mm. fought a campaign against orcs, didn't they? Ah, against orcs. That's right. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. History. History. We'll see how much you remember. Can, can, can I? You, have, you can do it at advantage because you have actually researched into this before. Oh, yeah, baby. That's a good one. 17 plus 5. Okay. 22. Uh, 22. Mm. <laughs> so, the legend was, if you recall. Sorry, no, what? <laughs> so, this is coming, like, so Nimrod knows this information, yes? Mm. That a fallen star landed 
to the south of the new city of Aratai. Hmm. And it was foretold that Ratai, the first king of Aratai, upon would be able to recover a gem from the fallen star. So Ratai and his three companions, Belin, Sidella Charm, and Mortine. the Mortine. Casimir. Oh. Casimir. Casimir. Casimir, the betrayer, went there. But the orcs had also seen the falling star. Mm. And so they converged on the same place. Mm. And while Ratai gathered this ruby from its, the falling star, the other three companions fought off the orcs. Mm. That is what you know. Our histories are connected. Even book, you know? Mm. I wonder if I ask, I can ask him something. I do have to speak with the dead. You can talk to him? Yes. Where did I put it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can speak with the dead with a... Are you looking for your spell? Yeah. <laughs> Over there. <laughs> We're supposed to be orange. Hello? On the side there, there's orange. No, no. that's... That's okay, well, let's quickly look at, we have these things called books. I will, I will use the book. Oh, but I... You've got it, that's fine. You've got it, that's fine. You're doing it, okay? Go ahead, talk. Start talking while... Talk yeah, be, be <laughs> join them up on the roof. Okay, okay yeah. Um, You're with me. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, I... Oh, okay, I try and summon the spirits of... Um, weirdly, I actually try and summon the spirit of... Okay. I'm feeling Taylor much stronger because this is quite an evil spellish thing mm -hmm. to do it. So mm -hmm. I, I you can ask it five questions. I can ask it five questions. Okay. So I, I think about summoning Medora, but instead there's a side of me that kind of summons Taylor instead. So then I touch him and then I try and bring him back to life. Okay, he's he's dead. He's gone. Sorry, but no, you... sorry, sorry, I try to speak to him. Okay. I try I put my fingers inside his eyeballs. Ooh. No problem, is that necessary? Uh, no. <laughs> um, I, just, I, just see, I, just, I just try and like poke him. Okay, he's dead, dead, dead. Okay. Um, what's his name? Dokum. Dokum. Why did you come to this city? I came this city to claim the city for my own. Is he talking He's right now? Talking. Can we hear it? How did you make him? Yeah. Oh voice. my good. Kill him. What do you know about the Sword of Aratai? The Sword of Aratai is also known, and he says something in the Orcish language, in your tongue, the Chieftain Slayer. Well, it we... has been an item of legend and desire for generations. That's another question. I have to ask him. Are you after the sword? Mm -hmm. The sword does not exist. It is legend. Mm. Hmm. Ha, he thinks. Good to know. What's his relationship? Can we trust Book? Book is unfaithful to me. I do not know if you can trust her. Something about Mortine. Yeah, what, what does he know about Mortine? No, he's not. He's, he's got his. Record. How much is this orc likely to know? Well, he is a, a chief as well. You got one more, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I think of a question. Mm. Look, he's not going to know about much about the sort of Aratai. Maybe something about this orc situation. Mm. I know I didn't ask it. Yeah, like, what are your, what are your plans? What's what the they? ultimate plan? What's the ultimate plan? Oh, what's the ultimate? We know that he wants to take control of the South, you know, and that it was he's a splinter faction of the main Orcish forces. What's the main Orcish faction's plan? Kush. Kush. Mm -hmm. To take to hold the South. Oh yes. Ask him, how can we kill Kush? What do you think he's gonna say? And his weakness is garlic. Mm. <laughs> it's too I think we almost killed Krush. I think we're actually here for Krush. Mm. You might have to speak up, our audience won't be able to hear. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, do we ask him what Krush is? 
some weaknesses, maybe. Or Book should know that. Oh, you ask. Hmm. Oh, we have one more question. We'll make it good. <laughs> I'm not sure there's too much to actually glean from this guy. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I've well, got nothing. Maybe we can look at like what does he know? Or what does he know about the original plan? You know, like because he was part of it, and he was like, actually, nah, I don't want to do it. Uh, uh, can you ask if these are the if this is the total of the attack that we can expect mm. on oh, yeah. Dolligan. Is this the total of the attack that we can expect? Uh, 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 Any more. On Dolligan. Yes. To come. This is a total. Oh. Nimrod takes her fingers out of his eyeball. Mm. And she just closes his eyelids. Thank you. Disgusting. Oh. Hey. This guy's a waste of time. <clears throat> I'd like us to... To have our, our our vision leave this scene. Declan, can you play the new um, piece of music? Oh. oh. Okay, new music. I found it. Somewhere underground. So dark. Mm. Looks like ruins of city, but in caverns or something. It's hard to tell exactly what. Some blacker than black mist, or is it liquid? Which looks exactly like the misty liquid that fell out of Mortine's fallen form. Mm -hmm. Drips from the ceiling into a puddle on the ground and then kind of moves over to a lead box, a large lead box, about two meters by a meter high. And there are inscriptions, six-sided inscriptions on this lead box. And the liquid scoots over and through the thinnest crack in the lead inside. And through that thinnest of cracks, a green glow starts, and you hear. (gasps) (sighs) (sighs) And with that, we will come. Come (laughs) Okay, so what the hell? The essence of Mortine. (laughs) So So Mortine was just the shell. Yeah. I. I think that he can just come back. Yeah, he will never die. Okay. There's something about him there. So, because he's out. a sorcerer, right? Yeah. He's he, in a lead box. He, he's been alive for hundreds of years. He does magic. Yep. There's no way that he's staying He's dead. a Voldemort. Yeah, he's pretty a, much. That's, that's, that's pretty exactly, yeah. 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 Right. yeah. yeah. He groundhog dated himself. Yeah. What, is, what did Hagrid say? Oh, I don't think he's alive enough to be dead. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely can't die by conventional means. Unless we destroy the thing that brings him back. But we don't know it. His mm. actual body? No, his coffin. Maybe. The, the thing Maybe. that brings him, revives him back. The lead. We know about that. We know about his coffin. Yeah. The covenant inscriptions. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I guess we don't know where the heck it is. Yeah, we don't know uh, underground somewhere. Yeah. I wonder what cashmere looks like. Cashmere? Cashmere. Cashmere outside. Cashmere. Oh, really nice. I hey. didn't even use this. Oh, that's hey, guys. Weird. Thank you for that. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, to our um, to audience. Thank thanks. you, audience. Thank you. Great Thank to you have you with us. If you're new to our show, thanks for joining us. Um, so <laughs> what we're going to do is, oh, we need to talk about our sponsor. Of course. B-D&D. Well, let's, let's do the, let's. My default. You're, so 
Um, we are really appreciative of our wonderful sponsor, BD&D. Ciao, BD&D. They have, if you, have if you go to their website, BD&D Games, you. you will see that on their website they have got all sorts of awesome books and modules, <laughs> um, all the things that you need to get started in D&D. Yeah, 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 they also yeah. have a lot of dice. Lots of dice. Lots of dice. 22 die, pages die. of dice, actually. That's my favorite wow. fact about it. <laughs> yep. um, yeah, there's plenty. And I think I'm actually going to go shopping after this because I want some more dice. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. Like Absolutely. Like if you want to color your world and bring your world to life, including your figurines, then hit them up for some paints because they really will make your figurines and your world pop. <laughs> <laughs> if you like magic and sorcery, then you might like Magic the Gathering. Yeah, yeah. Trading card game, mm. which BDD supplies plenty, Ooh. including singles. Mm. Powerful. And if mm. you like board games, you might like BDD. Yeah. <laughs> they have a lot of them. They put the B in board heaps, games. Heaps. 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 Lots and of the, uh, amazing board they games. Put the B in board games. Hey, so Go. thanks BDD. You guys are the best. Yes. Thanks. Hey, Shopping. so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, say thank you very much to all of our followers. Thanks to all our subscribers. Thanks to all of our Patreons. Thank you, Patreons. Your support, this, the support you give us is what keeps us going. And, um, you know, those subscriptions, those Patreons, oh, yeah. that's what keeps our lights on. They're my yes. favorite Keeps people. the people going. I love them. And love them the if you're, even if you're not able financially to support us, we um, invite you to please head over to our YouTube channel. Mm. Um, Feel free to hit some, give them some um, comments, all that kind of stuff. Do likes it. to, because that helps the algorithm to push it to more people to help us grow. <laughs> oh, thanks to our moderators. Thanks, Thank you guys. You. Thank you. Thank you, moderators. We're in the building. High five. <laughs> Smooth moderators. <laughs> okay, Smooth. and let's roll those credits.